Welcome everyone to So Very Wrong About Streaming. My name is Michael Walker and I'm here with my good friends Mark Keegan and Megan and we are playing Black Rose Wars. Are we a collective known as Mark Keegan? 
That's, oh, that's not bad. That's yeah. a good name. Yeah. I, I can go by Mark Egan. And this is what it looks like. We have it all set up. We have a few little things to still tinker with. Surprisingly few, actually. This and is, then this... Mark is going to tell us how to play or explain to us how to play. And then we'll get going. Here, can you have some comment for us? Wait, so... Mark Egan doesn't mention Megan. You see Mark Egan and Megan. Yeah. Oh, okay. She said it's... it's... Yeah. Okay, we're not going to draft her in the collective against her will. Uh, that's yeah, her... I, I thought it was a triple merge. That's not how Mark Egan rolls. <laughs> that's uh, that's orange team thinking, and Mark Egan don't play that way. <laughs> so, if you have any questions at all, just post them up. Thank you for joining us today. Click on the link, and you'll find our podcast and other stuff. All right, so we're a bunch of badass wizards, and we're members of this exclusive lodge. And uh, it's time to pick a new leader, and we do that by blasting each other's faces off. As God intended. Well, actually, mostly as the Black Rose intended. So the Black Rose is an incredibly powerful artifact, and it has wins? Uh, we don't mess with it. Anyway. Is this like a mail-order house? You, like, order, and then, like, they ship you the, the heck? Because they're all, like, nice... No, they're actually elaborate Quonset huts. Huh? They were, they were, yeah. So, uh, at the top of every round, uh, what we do is, first we do a Black Rose phase, where mostly what happens is the event. And the events are relatively negligible. They don't tend to be particularly in-your-face uh, punishing, but uh, anyway. So we pull an event, and an important thing to note about events is that they will give the Black Rose points. The Black Rose can win. It doesn't tend to happen, but mostly the Black Rose uh, scoring points helps move the game along uh, because there are a variety of phases that the game can enter. And we start off in the... Uh, I mean, it's probably not Gibbous, but I'm going to call it Gibbous because Gibbous is fun to say. The Slivery Moon phase. Anyway, so what we do is we uh, age existing events, we pull a new one, it says what it does, it might be an instant, it might be a, an enduring one, it might go in one of the slots, and if it occupies a slot with a card, the card slides over, you get the idea. This might cause other events to age out and cause the Black Rose to score points. If anybody cracks this area... We immediately replace both the event deck and the quest deck with the decks of the appropriate age. Uh, so it is possible that as a consequence of something happening in the event phase, we will then have uh, weirdnesses in the quest phase because of an upgraded, um, the upgraded card. After we resolve the event, we then proceed to uh, the uh, getting a quest. If you don't have a quest in hand, you pull one. If you don't ha like the quest that you have in hand, you can ditch it and grab a new one. Anytime an, a quest card is disposed of, the Black Rose immediately scores points e equal to the phase, basically. So one, two, or three, based on what phase we are in the game. If you you can never have more than two event cards and you uh, sorry quest cards, and you only pull one by default if you have none. So if you already have one by default, the most you can do is ditch the one you have and draw a new one. But you can't drop to two uh, by default, so it's not so, so you just draw one. We then proceed to the study phase. During the study phase, we engage in some light deck building. Uh, you get to draw two cards from your grimoire. That's the that's the deck that you've built. We all have a starting school of magic and some cards therein. And then what you do is you pull four cards from any of the available schools of magic, keeping two. The ones you don't want are discarded. So each school will eventually have a, a discard pile, which will get messy. Uh, the forgotten school of magic, which you'll notice is the seventh school up top, is not accessible in this way, so don't mess with it. The way you get them is through the Black Rose Room. More on that in a moment. Uh, so at the start of the game, we have no cards in hand. So you'll be pulling four per round, and you can maximally play four per round. Thus, drawing more cards is generally good. Get somebody, finding somebody to draw cards. We each have a hand limit, which is listed on your uh, character sheet. Uh, it tends to be somewhere around 70-ish, uh, plus or minus. Anyway. Then there is a prep phase. This is where we do our planning. This is where we uh, ignore the bad memories we have from Robo Rally. You are obliged to play at least two cards. You may play up to four. You have a quick, a quick spell slot, which must be filled, so it's going to be one of, the, one of the cards you play. And then you have three other spell slots, which may or may not be filled. Now, when you are playing spells, this is super important, most spells can be played one of two ways. Either fa uh, the... Uh, which way is default is irrelevant. Uh, but strictly speaking, uh, the one with the symbol of the upper left-hand corner is default. So here, uh, Frost Badge is, uh, is default, and if you flip it over, it's the other version. But the way you play it is the way it will be executed. 
And so we we must all commit to when revealing cards that we flip them along the long edge. Okay. All right, we all with it? So a card gets flipped like this. It does not get flipped like this. Everyone with me? Okay, give me back my card. It's mine. You can't have it. Uh, yeah. Slots can be left empty, except for the quick slot. There you go. That's what we do during the prep phase. Then we go to the action phase. There will be a start player randomly determined over the course of, uh, at the start of the game. The start player will occasionally be told to go one space counterclockwise by virtue of things that happen in the event phase. And starting with the active player going clockwise, we do actions. You may do one or two actions. And the only restriction on actions is that the only combination you're not allowed to do is two normal spells. But you can do a quick spell and a normal spell. Here's the list of things that you can do. Cast a spell. You flip it over and reveal it. The spell that you cast can either be your quick spell, whenevs, or the first uncast spell that is in your queue. You cannot cast spell two before you cast spell uh, one. So we're programming like a sequence. Ish. But you're not obliged to reveal them at a given pace. You could blow through your non-spell effects first. Right. Uh, and when you do your quick spell, obviously, is, is, is up to you. But yes, that is the extent to which you are programming things. Uh, typically what happens is you flip it up, uh, you reveal it face up, you do the thing, and it does the thing. There are exceptions, however. There are traps and there are defense spells. Uh, I don't mess with those. Uh, trap spells have a little picture of a bear catcher on them. And when you cast those spells, all that you do is you say, I have ready to the trap, and you put a trap token on top of the card. Mm. Defense spells, which are represented by a shield, work the same way. You just say, I'm activating the defense, and you put a shield on top of it. These spells are reaction spells. They're typically pretty straightforward about when they get triggered. And it, when the possible trigger gets effectuated on the board, it is up to you whether or not to reveal them. So the School of Trickery will probably have some traps, uh, almost certainly. Uh, but failing that, we've chosen uh, kind of overtly, uh, I don't know, card events, you might have some defenses. I have a lot of defenses, or I have okay. a number of defenses. Keegan has a number of defenses. Armor, equipment. Yes. Now, uh, just one note, which I'll return to later. Untriggered traps at the end of the round go back into your hand. Untriggered defenses do not. Logic being, you already got some benefit of the defense because you probably dissuaded people at the table from attacking you. Mm -hmm. Traps, on the other hand, can trigger from all number of things, and so you haven't really guided the, the, the action of the table, and the trap was just... The trap actually happened. It just didn't do any effect. The magical energies of your defense didn't actually trigger. Theme! Anyway. Uh, so... How to read a, a, a spell. So, going back to Frostblades over here. The Lightning Bolt says it's an attack spell. The middle thing is its element, so this is a water spell. And the uh, range uh, is zero, and it indicates one mage. So it has to be someone in my room. It probably affects me. Uh, yeah, for each other... Yeah, it lets me move. That's not a good way to do Frostblades. Anyway, so this, this is a spell that affects me. Uh, if it doesn't say lightning bolt, it's going to say either trap or defense, or it's going to show what looks like a, uh, glass ball, in which just case it just means miscellaneous. So that's where the catch-all effects happen that aren't really attacks or defenses or traps. Do you like start casting blades behind you that motivates you to start running? Is that how that spell works? No, I have to assume it's like Iceman. Uh, you get to ride blades. I assume. Of ice. I assume. Okay. Much cooler than scaring yourself into running. Everything's about fear for you, isn't it? I suppose you study so. a couple of void spells, and then you get all dark. That's pretty scary in there. Yeah. So that's how casting spells work. Uh, when you do damage to something, what you do is you give them cubes. Say I hit Baba Yaga for three points into her face. I would never do that, of course. But I then put cubes into her track. Another thing to note, and oh my gosh, we will forget this all the time. It passes any prologue. Some spells have a little icon in the middle indicating that they cause instability. Other spells do not. If you cast a spell that causes instability, you put one of your cubes into the room where you're standing when you cast mm -hmm. it. Not the room that you affect, where you cast it. This is relevant because it will contribute towards the destruction of the room very much in the same way that it will contribute to the melting of each other's faces. Uh, yeah. I'll talk about what happens when someone gets knocked out later. Any questions about spells broadly? There will be lots, but... Some spells are invocations, they in invoke summonings, I'll give you the summary card and then the figure will show up. Uh, my lovely intelligent assistant Walker will be in charge of fetching you the appropriate uh, 
uh, summoning, of which there are a billion. Yes, so try to give as much detail as possible, like what school it comes from and possibly what type, if you know. Or maybe we won't be summoning much, who knows? Uh, I mean, Keegan will be summoning things, but not necessarily figures. I do have one question yes. about the iconography here. Sure. Is that thing target somebody two spaces away? The person with the two next to it? Oh, um, no, what that means is, yeah, okay, so uh, more about ranges. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, let's talk about, uh, yeah. That means that you can target one person up to two hexes away. Mm -hmm. When you target something at range, it has to be in a straight line. Okay. There's no line of sight rules, but it has to be in a straight line, so you could not be able to, if, if you were here, you can target somebody here. Well, actually, there's another reason why you can't target somebody that we'll talk about later. Uh, if there's a hex with a number in it, that means you target an entire hex within that range. Got it. In a straight line. In a straight line, yes. So the, the first little flag is the tech spell it is... The middle is the element, and then the right-hand side is the range. Okay. And targeting restrictions. Okay. So that's spells, broadly speaking. We also have every round two physical actions. When you use them, you flip them over, and they're exhausted. Now remember, you get to do up to two things on your turn. You can do one or two things on your turn. So if you want to do, you can cast a spell and use a physical action. Use a physical action to cast a spell. You get the idea. The world's your oyster. Again, only restriction is you can't cast two normal spells as your action. Uh, when you use a physical token, you use it for one of two effects. It's either move and activate a room in either order, or punch someone in the face and activate a room in any order. When you move, you move your movement value, which I think for all of us is two. Movement values don't tend to change much. Yes, we all get to move two hexes. There you don't have to move in a straight line. Nothing blocks your movement unless a spell says it does. So there's no pinning rules for, for enemy figures. And uh, when you activate a room, what you do is you exhaust the room effect and you do whatever the room does. The room effects are summarized on your card. Many of them are awesome. Super awesome. I will in point of fact uh, point out a couple at this particular time. Uh, the throne, uh, the throne room makes you a start player. The black rose room, when it is available, and it will be available the instant we, somebody trips this this threshold, allows you to uh, discard four cards. But in exchange, you get to pick three forgotten spells and take one. The forgotten spells are, generally speaking, amaze balls, but they are one shots. When you cast them, they go out of the game. Just as a heads up. Sometimes nobody ever activates the Black Rose Room. Sometimes it, it swings the tide of the game. It eh, depends. Uh, when you punch someone in the face, you just do two damage to them. And you punch them in the same room. That's all there is to it. And again, you can activate the room before or after you do the, the physical action. You cannot, however, move and punch someone in the face. Uh, questions about physical actions? Is it always two? Or is it whatever our, our stat is? Very, very, very rarely okay. characters have different values. There are things that can modify this. Like, there are spells. There are lots of, like, uh, not really in any of the schools that we've taken. Oh, that's right. I remember. But there are spells that turn people into, like, walking bladed terrors. And she was fun. She was very fun. Yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about movement. Uh, because we start the game, and we will return here every time we're knocked out in our cells. When you have, when, during the action phase, and it is your turn, and you start in your cell, you must, as your first thing you do, leave your cell. Nothing can affect you while you're in your cell other than Black Rose effects, and you cannot do anything while you're in your cell other than leave. But Mark, you ask, what if I've used both my physical tokens? Well then, the bad news is, what you have to do is you have to discard an unactivated spell in order to move one space. This is another thing you're allowed to do. Typically, this is not a thing you do if you can avoid it. If, if your spell, your next available spell, is a move spell, can you do it that way? Or do you have to use a token to move out? Uh, you're not allowed to cast spells in your cell. Okay. Token only. Yep. Understood. Unfortunately. Well, no, you have to do a move effect. You can't cast a spell to do the move, move effect. You need to just move out. Gotcha. There are, broadly speaking, two ways to move. One of them being the token, one of them being getting gotcha. rid of the card. Keep going. Okay. But now there's no face on the screen! Lean over. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I feel so powerful here. Anyway. Uh, eventually, we will all be forced to pass. Uh, you cannot pass voluntarily. You pass when you're done. And 
Uh, the only way you can pass prematurely is if by some weird combination of things, you could still hypothetically do things, but you're trapped in your cell, so then you pass prematurely, and then everything else just fizzles. Anyway. After that's done, after we've all finished, obviously the bulk of the action takes place during the, uh, during the action phase, uh, we then proceed to uh, the evocation phase. Evocations are what we call summonings. And they have uh, an activation sequence, and whoever controls them just gets to do what they say they do. So, for example, a very basic evocation might be like, you know, have a value 2 and attack for 2. You move it two spaces, then attack for 2, and there you go. Damage done by evocations gives cubes of the controller's player. So it counts towards scoring. I don't know if I want to let you have this back. Oh, you can, this is, the, you, can be the, you can be the center of attention this time. The, the, the influence is like, hello, listeners. <laughs> um... Then uh, evocations, by the way, can be targeted like anything else, and they just take damage. When they're destroyed, they're destroyed, and nobody gets any points for it. But they're gone. Then there's the cleanup phase. Uh, so any spells that you've activated get discarded. Remember, untriggered defend, uh, untriggered traps go back into your hand. Uh, they go into what's your discard pile, which is called your memories. All rooms activation tokens get flipped back up, so they can be activated again next round. Uh, we check to see if any rooms were destroyed. If a room track is full, it doesn't get destroyed until the end of the round. It gets flipped over, and it's done been busted. Nothing happens to anybody in that room, but whoever did the most damage gets this token, and will score that many points at the end of the game. If there's a tie, the Black Rose scores for it. Doesn't matter what else happened. Uh, we check to see if anybody has cracked 30, if anybody's cracked 30, the game ends. Otherwise, we go to the next round. At the end of the game, uh, we check to see who has scored the most questicles. There is a 6-3-1 victory point bonus for having completed the most. If there's a tie, you take one point off the benefit. At, uh, so if there's a tie for first place, then we'll get five. Then there is, you score for destroyed rooms. You get one bonus point for being the start player at the end of the game. And then you score for whoever has the most trophies. So let's talk about death. Walker's favorite topic. When a mage dies, the first thing that we do is we figure out who did the most damage to the mage. Uh, and it scores uh, 4 to 1. Four points for whoever did the most, second, uh, two points for whoever did the second most, one for whoever did damage at all. And uh, like before, if there's a tie, you knock one point off the, the, the benefit. Here, the Black Rose will probably not score. Uh, I mean, there are events that do damage. The Black Rose can participate in this, but they, it tends not to win. Whoever did the killing blow gets uh, a trophy token of the um, get well, basically uh, gets to put a, uh, a, a trophy token on the scoreboard. Um, yeah, there's a there's a spot for it. I can't really remember where, but anyway, that is uh, trophies and destroyed rooms. Thank you. There we go. So Walker gets a kill. Uh, Walker gets to put one of his little tokens there. At the end of the game, whoever has done the most kills, also 4-2-1 uh, scoring for most kills. The dead mage immediately clears off all their damage and shows up back in their cell. They are therefore immune to any other thing that might happen to them until such time as they activate again, whereupon they must immediately leave their cell as the first thing they do, which is a drag. This is often how you end up burning spells for movement, because you have to leave the cell more often than you thought you did. That's the key punishment for dying. Uh, not that it's the end of the world. We're going to be dying a lot. And that's the game. Questions, comments, issues, problems? There will be lots of specific questions about how spells work. Likely. I, yes, I will be happy to address them, and or you can feel free to look through the uh, big old spell index uh, and try to figure it out for yourself. Oh, sorry, one last thing. We are completely immune to our own effects. If we do 17 million damage in the room we're standing in, we don't take any of it. Ow. Only Merc does. Um, no. The iconography question. Um, yes. I think most of it's I think bigger out. Um, the little rosy shape with the number in it, is that a point? I beg your pardon? Rose-ish shape with a number in it. Uh, where? In the lose one. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. That's a point. Okay. Um, 
Ah, yes, one other thing that occurred to me, and now it's gone. Ah, well. Oh, yes. Uh, the terminology, uh, the people who designed this game, I'm fond of them, uh, and I have nothing against Italians, uh, but there's a common uh, issue of uh, a game is translated from Italian. They use turn the way I would use round, and the way they use round the way I would use turn. Mm -hmm. So, a turn in this game, and is referred to on some spells, consists of event, drawing things, all the action, all the cleanup. All of that is one turn. Mm. One round is me doing two actions. Uh, okay. All right? <laughs> so keep that in mind in case you get... Eh. Anyway, now Walker can get his seat back. Back into the power! Oh, no. Oh, I feel so feeble now. But, li uh, but strangely liberated. I don't say anything for a bit. Everyone has to uh, get their gag reflex finished before we start talking. There you go, Malik. <laughs> Let's determine a start player. Dibs. Uh, no, that's not how start player works. Damn it. Although I'd be tickled if a, if a rule book said that's so how you got start player. Yes, Megan? Uh, iconography stuff. Let me guess, yellow. Yeah. You think I don't deserve a crown? Every time. Every time. <laughs> so I don't even know why we pretend. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's him also when he has no... no sake of the choosing. I think he's just got telekinetic powers. I don't think telekinesis would help in this instance, but I think, you know how... In First the, of all, I reject in, the notion that I'm in, in the NFL, you know, they spray the ball with stick, I and mean, he just sp sp sprays all the yellow score markers. Do they really do blue. that? Uh, yes. Is that legal? Uh, in football, it is, yes. Okay. It is, you're allowed to, as a receiver. Too. Just keep in mind, uh, I lived in New England during many controversies concerning balls. You're like, uh, no, no, not on the ball. On your hands. Oh. You can put, you're allowed to put it on your hands. You're uh -huh. not allowed to spray it on the ball. Okay. I thought, I thought you were saying the other way around. <clears throat> All right, then. So, it's event time. Dead calm. Nothing happens. Draw an additional event card. The Black Rose gets two points. Mm, and and start player yeah. passes counterclockwise. Ah. Oh, the power. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Justice. <laughs> <laughs> what is your damage? What are these for? Sorry? What are oh, uh, you actually put those in the basis of the things you summon, so we know ah. that they're yours. Okay. They're incredibly finicky, and I wouldn't trade them in for anything in the world. Because <laughs> they're just these lovely little rose blooms that you shove into the basis of your awesome evocation. Punish the evocation. Each time a mage, a mage plays an evocation card, the Black Rose inflicts one damage on them. Boo. <laughs> How do we know if I have an evocation card? Mine all say summon this evocation. They okay. won't. They, it, oh, yes, okay, uh, this, seem, this seems awfully arbitrary, and yet here we are. Black Rose <laughs> scores two points. Another two points. Yes. Black oh, my goodness. Black gonna, Rose gonna is... Win yeah, the, the Black Rose tends to come out to an early lead, but seldom is, is, is a, a great consequence. All right, shuffle your deck. Uh, we all get one quest. Here, have a quest. Ooh, quest. Here, have a quest. Megan. Thank you. That's a quest. Next turn, if you don't like it, if you complete it, next turn you'll draw another. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, you can give the Black Rose a point or two points based on how things are going and draw a replacement. Okay, so after having shuffled your deck, draw two cards from your deck, and then you're going to draw four, keep two, from across the spell decks. Mm. Uh, strictly speaking, this goes in turn order. We can absolutely do this in turn order for the first round. Later on, we can go a little more catch as catch can because it's not... Uh... So for Megan's benefit and the people at home, we have Necromancy, Trickery, Void... What is that? Elementalism. And Elementalism... Enchantment. Uh, enchantment and... Cartomancy. Cartomancy. Sorry, it's my old man eyes. Um. So we're drawing two and taking four? Drawing and from those four, drawing four we... No, we're drawing four, keeping two from those. We'll have four cards at the end of this rigor roll. Right. You are not allowed to discard any of these. Gotcha. Oh, but parenthetically, once per round, I think I to mention this, you can remove from the game one card in your hand after you've done all this. In the first round, generally, you don't have a strong impulse to do that, but, you know, do whatever you like. Is this deck of many rules where you just call out what you're taking before you look at them? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will take... 
two trickery, an elementalism, and an enchantment. Uh, give, uh, give me uh, trickery, void, enchantment, cardamancy. Enchantment, not elementalism. Uh, elementalism, I got. Are there names for the different uh, types of uh, the, the middle? Flag? Oh, yes, I'm terribly sorry. So I remember that the uh, crystal ball is contingency, which is an interesting uh, notion for it. Uh, combat is the lightning bolt. Contingency is the uh, uh, glass orb. Shield is protection, and trap is trap. Um, and for the spell types... Uh, you just give them random names. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, Starburst, Little Flower, what? Wings, the, this stuff. Oh, yeah, so, uh, um, oh, did one of them refer by text to the No, no, I'm just, I'm just wondering what to call them. And oh, if, sure, if any, okay, like, well, uh, any, like, it, Starburst is any, okay. and you get to pick. Okay. Uh, but here's a list of, uh, down there, of, of the different types. Discarded cards go... Uh, they go next to the, the, the appropriate deck, face up. Asterisk is any. Good to know. That was mainly what I was wondering was if there was a well one. <laughs> Asterisk. Wing. And discard piles Wing. form. Thanks. Is there an easy way to know where they came from? Uh, you're just going to have to learn the, the colors. Walker, unsurprisingly, your school is no good. I, I'm sorry for that. I got uh, the better of the cards. See that? that? That's what I do. See that? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is that symbol? Ah. Interesting. Can I see your uh, equipment deck for a second? Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Unimpressive. I'm ready when everyone else is. No rush. Um, I see the event card, please. And again, getting a couple damage from the Black Rose ain't the end of the world. If you summon a thing that is bolded, I assume it is a specific thing that does something? Yeah, so uh, if it's an evocation... It's a... Think an enchantment. Oh, that that come from this deck. Yeah. We can share the deck. Is it possible to have multiple copies of the same evocation? Uh, yes. Okay. You're only ever allowed to have three evocations, though. They're, they're tracked at the bottom of your uh, of your board and equipment. Although not evocations, takes up the same slots. Makes sense. So equipment will not run afoul of this event, but evocations will. Uh, and just as a note, there are, I think, three copies of 12 different spells in each uh, spell deck. Oh, I should have taken from Necromancy. Well, now I feel like an idiot. Oh, and uh, when you're ready, when you're done with planning, you can just start... Um, when you're done with uh, uh, learning, rather, you can just start playing your uh, playing your cards. Hello, Henry. All right, for those that came later, when you now sort of plan what you're going to do for your turn, you have one spell that you can play at any time, and then these three spells don't have to be played uh, like in the first three turns, but they do have to be played in this particular order. Is the Black Rose considered a mage? No. Okay. We are mages. 
evocations are not mages, equipment are not mages. Okay. The Black Road is not a mage. I mean, it's on a scorch track, so it's... Like, sure. Always wondering. Sure, it is the non-mage that is eligible for victory. Okay. And our spells also have two oh, different yeah, spells you can cast, right, so you have right. to make sure you orientate them properly on your board, because we all are flipping from left to right. And, uh, yeah. Could these be spots for our special... What goes here? Could our special actions go there, maybe? Just for funsies? Oh, the one and two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, strictly speaking, that's where they go. And uh, our little... There, there's, a, there's a spot for our kill tokens, but... And if anybody needs uh, the, evo the, the deck of evocations, they're this fast stack over here. Um, if I have a spell that lets me play spells... Uh-huh. Should I keep them in my hand? Do they what 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 what's the specific term that it uses? Play a this type of spell and a that type Actually, of spell. Uh yeah, they would need to be in your hand. Okay. Because it goes with these, right? For sure. Let me grab these and put them in. You don't just gamble off the top of the deck? No. no. Oh. <laughs> that would be fun. I would like to summon I would play that class. Oh wait. What that's telling you is you probably want to work towards a hand advantage. There are too many to uh, put them out. Um are these in alphabetical order? Yes. Yeah, they are. Okay. Shuffle them and I'll kill you. Thanks. Uh, what is the chest symbol? Uh, I th uh, let me let me see the spell. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, as you recall, I do have chest tokens over here. It's no, it's not. Cards it's not from a library. It relates to cardomancy, I think. Hold yes, on. it's a cardomancy card. There you go. They're kind of like their own little quests. It's a reward for completing the thing. Mm. So if you do the thing, you get the thing. Yep. What is the library? Oh, hello. Uh, the library is a room. You have a reference card that okay. summarizes all of the, uh, sure. the... Well, I say that just in case you find it before I do. Uh, library is... There's a biblioteca. I don't know if there's a yeah, there's library. Yeah, not a library. It, oh, sorry. The biblioteca lets you draw sorry. from the library. Library. <laughs> Okay, so library is just all of the cards. I'm the sorry cards. for speaking <laughs> Spanish, everyone. <laughs> A lot of defined terms in this game. So is your face. Donde esta la biblioteca? And cerveza, por favor. And I don't know, I don't know Spanish right Una cerveza, por favor. You have the crown. Unless you're doing it today. Yes. I, uh, like many uh, Quebec students who are taught by people to speak hexagonal French, uh, I was taught how to speak. I was I was taught by somebody with a very strong Castilian accent. Yeah. <laughs> Want to uh, drink over there? Can you grab it? I, I, the the one, one year of Spanish I learned was um, near, was in England, so. Mm, yeah. I, I, I do recognize. Lots of examples <laughs> involving Ibiza. That's a stereotype. <laughs> um, the joke is that British people go to Ibiza. Ibiza. Okay. He just wants hugs. He's misunderstood. The combination of the open library book and the pecs is like a very <gasps> a very kind of bro scholar. He just reads very quickly, therefore he has to lift books up and down off the shelves a lot. Okay, sure. I feel like he should be in Soul Calibur. Or something. <laughs> and do, like, you, do you think that Astaroth? Yeah, he do, looks like Astaroth. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that? I think that's what you're saying. Do you think that ship wheels light? No. <laughs> Another question with the any spell type. My guess is more of an You choose it when you play it. You stipulate when you play it, and there are tokens for that to, okay. to that end, if you wish. Um, I have one reason for caring what they are. Um, are there multiple reasons for caring what they are? Uh, I mean, I don't know. should uh. 
Light that. Why you gotta be so difficult? Light that hammer on fire, maybe. Thank you. No problem. And once everyone is uh, ready to roll, we can be ready to roll. All right. Um, I will move. Oh, you're, you're done? Yes. I've, cool. I've made the two play cards, so <laughs> my since is or one, I forget which one. Sure. So I will keep the other two in my hand. Sure. Um, I move somewhere. I, I guess I should figure if I want to go to the pleasure room or the arena or the abyss. Or the uh, one of those obviously sounds better. I mean, it's pleasure. Or the abyss. And remember, you can move two, right? So you can yeah. also go to the, the, the mirror room. That's where you get two moves. Oracle room, treasure room, which is like the pleasure room, only not. Uh, mirror room is not a good first one to go to. No, it's not. I guess I could go to the arena and then no one else can cast anything, but that doesn't, everyone's going to cast everything eventually. Oh, there's going to be casting, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here. Okay, you're going to activate it? Yep. Okay. I draw a quest card. Uh, quests are there. So I'm at my maximum quest cards now. Yes. Are you doing anything else? Um... I will move again. Or do Are you, you only sure? do one move per turn? Well, it, uh, you can do both. It's just it's a little risky to blow all of them at once, especially okay. since you don't have a whole, whole lot of other things to blow for movement right. purposes. I will, I'll, I'll, I'll cast my uh, this thing. Okay. What's it called? Uh, it is the Punishment Breastplate. I summon the Punishment Breastplate. It is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 live whatever life you want to live at the pleasure room with the punishment. I now have equipment. <laughs> it goes to the bottom where your uh, and what is it, what what benefit does it confer to you? Um, it inflict one uh, damage, I assume, to whomever inflicts you three or more with a single effect. Okay, good to know. Does that give you extra health or something? Maybe it's no, it has its own health. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna move. And I'm gonna activate the cemetery. That. That summons a lands connect. I take two damage from the black rose. Summons a what? Lands connect. Uh, it's it's in. Give me the cards. Yes, sir. And it's in the undead bag. Yes. Um, all muggle. Uh, the other half to my spell was all muggles in adjacent rooms suffer a damage, but there was no one in adjacent rooms, so I all muggles. Muggles. <laughs> <laughs> Different property. See, now you know it's my Lands Connect. Yeah. Isn't that great? Lands Connect is the most basic of the basic. It moves two, it punches for two, it has three hit points. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast... Uh, oh, why did I put it there? Walker. I, do, I don't know. Well, I done messed up. Uh, I'm done. Move two. Forge. Quest, activate room forge instead of the normal room <laughs> effect. Move one and punch and click the additional hit with this wound. So three damage. You know, Walker, welcome to Black Rose Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Kapow! Could you instead choose to destroy the lens connect? I could, but that doesn't get me any fun. It doesn't stuff. get any points. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, did you score for the uh, for your quest? It gives you one point. One whole point. And you keep it next in your, over here, in your uh, package of completed questicles. And do I get to draw a new quest because I completed no. a quest? I thought there was some funny business there with that. No, it, when you do, when you have zero quests, okay. at the top of the round you draw a quest. All right. Hmm. Well, I was hoping Walker would be at least closer. one space closer to me. <laughs> or that Megan would be at least one space closer no, to close me. No, close enough to you to, to I can't believe you punched me in the face. First of all, I don't have a face. I'm oh, sorry, I kicked you. How's that? <laughs> Kick your shins. Uh, what's mm, your no. This is this is some hardcore bullying. Uh, and what does this blue room do? Oracle room from your grimoire, or maybe it just will draw some cards then. Uh, flippy. 
Boom, boom. Oh, I don't take two damage from the, the black rose. The black rose, it's only when you cast a spell that makes an evocation. I've just activated a room yeah. effect. That doesn't, that yeah, doesn't like take... Yeah, like this, there's no word evocation, although you've told me to put it in the evocation place. <laughs> yes. Well, there you cast a spell and it gave you a piece of equipment, yeah. right? Here, I did a thing that gave me an, an evocation, but it wasn't an evocation spell, so... Okay, so you're not... Well, it wasn't a spell at all, yeah. really. Uh, I might still do this. Let me just double check here. Evocation spell card. Yeah. Yes, okay. This works. What's the word? Uh, summoning the Aetherius Gladius, if that's actually what it's called. Okay. Uh, it makes my punching range two. <laughs> and that's it, not how swords work. It mm. gives me a free move and a punch. Mm. Uh, so I can move in here. This is a space. Oh yeah, and, and, then, a space. and then you can punch everybody. And then I can punch at range too. Um, well, I feel like I gotta get in on this walker, and by or yeah, the, the trend walker started a punching mark. No. Yeah. Leave my face alone. It's so beautiful. He just wants to figure out what happens when, when a player dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to, uh, to quote oh, Louie, yeah. I, I just want to see how this mechanism works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and can I do a second card, or is that am I blocked at two actions because I've moved as the well? The only restriction is... Oh, you did two... Yeah, you did. I, well, I, I moved, and then I've done a card. I wasn't yeah, that's two it. actions. Okay. Then that's it. All right, Megan. All right, I'm going to move and trigger. Okay. Uh... I return a mage from an adjacent room to their cell. There isn't anybody. Um, but you don't have to activate the room if you don't want I to. I want to because uh, <laughs> if you activate the abyss... The, the cool. Thing. Does it replace the effect as well? or? Uh, in addition to the normal room effect, okay. if the mage you sent to their cell, there isn't one. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, oh, actually, I, probably, I could have read that... You could have read the card in advance, yes. That is among the rules of the game. Yeah. You are permitted to read the card. Right, I, I won't do that then. Okay. So you're... Well, maybe maybe do that in the future. Okay. Um, I guess I will just cast. All right. Uh, I'm playing the world. It is a any, so it is now going to be a wind, I believe. Okay. Um, and the world says play a starburst spell and a demon or wing spell. So okay. I will play these spells. Um, Alright, in order. What's the first one doing? Uh, the first one is all mages that have more roses than me lose a rose, I gain a rose. Okay. Is the black rose I'm not, a mage. not a mage. I asked about that already. Uh, okay. um, I draw three cards from my grim grimoire and I gain a rose. Um, Why did someone's move me? Yep, yep. She stole it from you. She <gasps> siphoned off you. Um, Welcome to I mean, Black Rose Wars. <laughs> I, it, it's right, I, I get the point whether or not I take the point away, but. Um, but you'll still steal the point. I mean, obviously. And then, and then I get a card from the library because I did the effects of that. Okay. What type of card do you like? Any card. And also, before I forget, I cast at least one of each of these two types of spells. Wow. This so is some nonsense. That is. How many? Oh, wow. I get a card. Uh, no, it's. Uh, uh, one po three, po three points! Three points! Woo. Three points, yes. Woo! Spicy. Um. Welcome to Black Rose Wars. <laughs> well, but on the one hand, she worked for it, and the other hand, she's pretty much done for the round. Yep. <laughs> she's got a. She's got a. You can move. She's got a move token as everyone turns. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I I did all that now. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, I. Do I want to move before everyone punches me? Oh, you're right. You just cast a single spell. Yeah. It just. It was a cascade spell. Um, a lot happened on the back of that spell. It's true. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off right now because I can always move out of my room if I get punched. Okay, to I death. I'm going to cast the spell Ball of Lightning. Remove one of your evocations. Sorry, buddy. When we just got to know each other, and we summon Ehekatl in its place. It can act immediately. So, uh, uh, this is a spell that runs afoul of the event, so I take two damage uh, from the Black Rose. And what is it? A cattle? A cattle is a, uh, a being of pure energy. I suspect it's a construct, but I can check. Oh no, Dagon. I dropped a Dagon, everyone. Oh no. A cattle is a construct. 
It is indeed a South American looking sucker uh, wielding a large staff. Disappointed to be frank. This is honestly no offense to anybody, but this is a letdown. How much damage does he do? Three. That is to me, I'm assuming. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Three damage to Howard. And then it is going to move. Like this demonic sorcerer Mickey. Excuse me? Yes. <laughs> Very uh what was the what was the name of that movie? Well, is it from Fantasia? Fantasia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorcerer's Apprentice is like the short, but... Yes, very Fantasia. So three damage to Walker, and then it's going to walk over here to the crypt. Because we have already forgotten. Uh, I need one of these. As do I. And it needs to go there. That's the one I just, just oh, grabbed. sorry. That's okay. Did anyone else cast a spell that has a black cube in Yes, the Megan did. Baba Yaga did, so there should be uh, a white cube over here. Uh, that thing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, am I doing anything else? When I cast the spell, I was in this room because it gave me a, it pushed me out of the room. You don't need to yell at me, Keegan. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously, Keegan, calm down. Uh, I'll I'll take my rage out with. Uh, I am going to. Oh, it's probably worth it. Oh, this makes me. This makes me sad. I shouldn't do this. I'm not even following. The, I'm going to move. I'm going to activate the sanctuary. No, just stay in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder what's happening. I am going to heal one damage from each of my antagonists. Boo. Yeah. And uh, then I'm going to reveal my quest. Plague Doctor, heal at least two point uh, two damage from any target during a single game turn. Well, I'm a target, and I done healed myself. That is one point. I'm on the board. Walker, I've done two things. I have a question about if I have nine health, do I do go up to nine? The little arrow, yeah, uh, is where okay. you cap okay. out at. Perfect. Oh yes, that's right. I don't have all of the. So what? Oh, oh, but Mark, the smallest of the characters, gets all of the hit points, apparently. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's why everyone's hitting it's the hat. <laughs> Summon a Dargon. Everyone's punching into your a Dargon. Uh, a what? Dargon. Dagon? Dagon. Dagon. Okay, so you take two damage from the Black Rose. He's a demon? It says it doesn't say evocation anywhere on that spell. You cast a spell that is that is bringing to power uh, evocation. That's that's from, how it works. From the void. <laughs> Doesn't matter where the, the where the evocation comes from, sir. Is that a, is that a dig? Yeah, that's a dig on. There you go. Slot one of your things into it, and it shows up in your space. Nope. Up to two way. Oh, okay. That one. Instead of punching, Dagon can place instability, which are, is the name of the uh, the cubes that go back, uh, down there. And when it's defeated or removed, it places two instability. Does it act right away? If I remove a stability. Ah. Does it, do you say when he's summoned, he causes instability? No. Oh. Uh, well, the, the, unfortunately, there's no instability in range to have him to, no. feed with it. Well, do these guys ever have their own turn to act? Yes, after we finish acting, there's the evocation phase where all evocations act in order. So all of Megan's evocations will act, and then all of mine act. Gotcha. Is there any reward for killing an evocation? No. Hmm. Satisfaction. Second action can't be two spells. So I... It can be your quick spell, if you wanted. No, I will stop there. I'm okay. good. Keegan. Uh, I will... Uh, find some more equipment. Tartarus's hammer. My punches now target a hex. <laughs> good, good thing you moved. Thank Holy you for crap. moving. <laughs> Two damage to everything in a single hex. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm about to get punched. It gives well. <laughs> everyone spread it. Yeah, it gives me a free move and a punch. <laughs> oh 
I will okay. punch this hex. Okay, so... He's got, he's got a big hammer. Two damage, please. Uh, two damage. And uh, Dagon has how many hit points? Uh, Dagon has three. Okay, so Dagon takes two damage. Uh, track it with whatever kind of cubes you want. Doesn't matter. Will do. Okay. Uh, and then my second one, I guess, is going to be... <laughs> this is not how swords work. <laughs> I would like to lodge a complaint. So if I do a move, is, is it an action to just activate the space? Like, do I have to flip my... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There's no other way to activate rooms other than these physical tokens by default. I and, think uh, I would like to save my move then. It's... Uh, although you get to move for free. Megan. Not anymore. Um, I, I, oh, guess, I guess I can move. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, we all shed a tear. <laughs> and activate a room. Sure. This is, this is kind of a neat guy. Just upgrading my default I will, action. I will. I get a uh, card of my choice for my grimoire. Okay. I get to choose one of these two cards. <laughs> yep. And uh, that, then, that's then it. you're. I got, I got nothing left. Uh, did you flip your token when you? I sorry. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast axe slashes. It does one stability over here. You're not the only one with pretty toys. I'm going to cast Axe Slashes on uh, Walker's face. Uh, what? I already have yellow cubes. I'm going to give you more. All right. Yeah. Uh, you get uh, two damage, and I put two instability in the target room. And I think I'll call it a day. Yes. Oh, I should have dropped instability. Walker. What if you don't have the second part of the observatory? If there's a cost, you have to do it. Mm. What second part are you talking about? Well, and swap with one with yours. What if you don't have one? Oh, well, then there's no... You just get to keep all three? Good, good. Yeah, that's the natural conclusion. <laughs> Thank you for parsing that in the obvious natural English way. Well, that's not any good. Uh, sure, I will move two and activate the room. Which room? I'm going to move right into this space. Okay. Activate the observatory? Yeah, well, I can't. Can I activate it just so no one else can use it? Or can you uh, only activate it if you can? Oh, there's a question. I don't know. Uh, I'll try to find the answer. But draw three quest cards and swap one of them with one of yours. He has no quest cards. Okay. Target mage cannot target you with any spell with the target icon. Cool. I gain a victory point. Now, on this spell, it has a two beside the thing. If there's two people in that room, I'd be able to... No, that's range two. Range two. Gotcha. That's a single target within range two. Cool. Let's put some instability in that room. Yeah, you do that. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, it's Keegan's turn. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Well... Just because I've played mode this way, I guess I will cast a spell. Uh, Walker, suffer two damage for me. No, I just read. Just, just now. Target mage cannot just now. target oh. you with oh, any spell. Mage. Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, actually, the uh, in the in the reference guide, it's even more clear. If you have at least one uncompleted quest. So you can activate the room for no purpose, just to prevent other people from doing it, but gotcha. you don't get any benefit from it. All right. Question well, about the timing well. on these quests. Yes. Mine is cast at least two of this type of spell in a certain, a single game turn. Yes. yes. Is that achieved now, and then I could gain another quest to, like, be in uh, my quest spell? Yeah, go for it. Or do we at any time under? during this turn, okay. while you have satisfied the condition. Well, I get a rose. Did you cover that uh, symbol? And that's any hex. Yeah, I, I just think did you cover it? That's all. I don't think so. If right. it says hex with star in it, that means any hex. Star means anything. I have a question. Yes. Um, 
if a reward for this card uh -huh. is a uh, complete a quest, um, does it just auto complete the quest? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mark Bronte's wrath deals two damage to you. <laughs> Why so mad, bro? I was. I would have attacked somebody else, but yeah. Thanks, Walker. I'm curious how. <laughs> I'm assuming auto-completing just it completes the, the first part of the trigger. And not, like, the if-you-did-a-thing part of the trigger. I heal myself yeah. one, but okay. I have nothing to heal. Well, I can always just complete it to get rid of it. And... It's not with any points unless I fulfill the... Yeah, what's, what's the spell? Uh, return to rest is the quest. Uh, the spell is... Uh, yeah, I'm fine. The levers. All right, Megan. What school is it? Oh. Is it, is yeah, it's card cards, yeah. Because your turn. I'm, I have nothing else to do. All right. I'm just looking at my hand. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast uh, the Chariot. Draw three cards from your Grimoire and score a point. One for yellow. Her. Thank you very Has much. Has red scored a point? I just scored a point from a thing and also forgot to do this from completing the quest. Instability up there, please. Will do. <sighs> so much red. Can you just calm down? <laughs> just hammers. Okay. It's hammer time. <laughs> Smash. I'm going to cast uh, Power Geisa, which is usually. Uh, now, Ter Terry Bogard, as you know, is the lead character of the long running Fatal Fury series, as well as King of Fighter. F King of Fighters. He's infamous for his bad English, uh, or English, as the case may be. Uh, one of the things he says before doing a Power Geyser is, and I quote, Go Bang. <laughs> anyway, Go Bang. Uh, two damage to all models in this room. Boo. And then, because I set things up very carefully, I could do two damage to all models uh, in adjacent rooms, but uh, I'm not gonna. So, there. Are you all done? Um, yeah, that's all I got. First action will be inflict two damage to target model to heal yourself two. Ooh. So, two to you, healing two. Oh, Black Rose, damn right. We know. Damn it. <laughs> How about. I saw through my ruse. <laughs> I choose option. No, second option before I... I uh, does that cause instability? Yeah, it sure does. Then I follow my own advice. <laughs> then... I don't think the observatory is going to last long. Legacy of the Void. I need two more Black War damage. Black Rose Wars. How do I look up cards? And I'm in trouble because I'm almost dead. That's okay. Dargons will save me. Another Dargon? Another Dargon. There you go. And then Keegan, you may go. All right. Um, so into your Dargon, put two Dargons. Then we know it is your Dargon number two. Gotcha. And then the Dargon may Dargon. Dargon's going to go in my square. What is and it the... can immediately eat uh, an instability, right? Uh, no, that was only with that spell. Oh, okay. The icon this is just a summon spell. The heart with the circles going around it. Convert a wound from Ooh. one color to another. Ooh. Okay. Don't you dare. Okay. Don't you dare. Uh, what are you? Do what are you daring? Swapping out yellow for red. No. <laughs> Two of them. Two. Yeah. Here's some more cubes back, Mark. I don't want the cubes back. <laughs> Oh, Black's totally winning now. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, Keegan, what have you done? Can't do that there. Can't do that there. Uh, I can't target myself, so I wouldn't be able to. Um, cool. Keegan. If, and Keegan. Question. If you yes. overkill, I guess there is no overkill because you have... There's, okay, so there's no... You're... I'll punch no, here in a second. It's all good. No, it's not. You lost the smallest component in the history of humankind. <laughs> There's no there smaller small. game piece in the history of ever. You're n I'm never getting that back. You will. Well, it, it will be found. The purple player will never they're, be able to suffer. They're made of metal, and I'll just go over it with a, ma a magnet, and we'll find it. Uh, yeah, I'll flip my thing to scoot and activate. Four point. PowerPoint. Done. This book does not have a school. This book does not have cards. Okay, what, what, what's your... Card what, What's your specific question? What's the levers? We were talking about it, then your turn happened. I, I, I haven't memorized every card in the game, yeah. I can't... Um, uh, actually, well, we were wondering if, uh, if that, that effect... That seems like a place that would have uh, He's going to fully like, complete like, all... 
performance of the of the quest or just the it is oh, complete? Is that it? No. As in, do I activate the abyss? And that's it. You do not activate the room. I know, but I, I, as if I had activated the abyss, but it, the the it the in addition to the normal if if. Can you tilt that? No, you don't do that. Okay, you yeah. get the points. Uh, yeah. It gets completed. It's not. It's, it's, that, it's zero points unless right I do that. <laughs> the the additional. What thing? This card. Well, well then you might want to do the other effect no, of the, right. the spell then. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I'm just curious. I could also hmm. just it's do it to get rid of this because it seems a little. Yeah, you would think that. We will find it. I'm never going to get back. <laughs> Why? No. At, at, after game, I will find it. Uh, well, I, I pass. Like, I feel like looking at the computer, maybe. But... We did. We tilted it up. And... All right. I. Oh. Oh. Is it behind the computer? I think so. Maybe. I see a little thingy. It's too big to be no. that. No, it's not it. <laughs> As the computer turns off and yeah. <laughs> bye bye stream. Um, so we're gonna look around after the stream. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right. I am also going to pass. Pass. Keegan. All right. We're done. Wait. So, how did Keegan get so far away? How did that happen? I did a scoop. Because he's a slippery fat man. Yeah. I'm just covered in grease. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we now proceed to the evocations phase. Uh, you don't have any evocations, correct? I have one. Um. If I kill Walker, that's one more point for me, and one less point for the Black Rose. It's ahead of you right now. I know, but if I get the fourth damage, then, ah, then we okay. tie, is my, is my point. Um, on the other hand, I could go after... I, some thought, I thought it one ties. Huh? I thought you said it one ties. Rooms. Oh, for rooms. For rooms. I also get a kill token. Yeah, why not? Bam. So you go back to your cell. Uh, the Black Rose and I each get three points, and uh, Keegan gets one. We immediately proceed to the next phase. Well, the, the, the next uh, well, set of decks. Nothing else really changes at the moment. So this is the new quest deck. This is the new event deck. And the Black Rose room is now eligible to be activated. As a reminder, Discard four cards from your hand to draw three forbidden spells and keep one. Uh, that is the Summon Substance of my Evocations. Walker, you have two Evocations, I believe. I do. They both only do one damage each. Well. But. Uh, they could also, don't they also, or they can do instability. Yes. Uh, I mean, that's not nothing. That's a lot, that can be a lot of points. Actually, yeah, let's finish off that room. Instead okay. of attacking... They're both going to do instability. They're there. just going to blow up that room. Okay, so this, you pocket that, and you'll score it at the end of the game. There's no second place. The observatory is no more. It's now just occupied by a bunch of angry constructs. Keegan, no uh, evocations to activate? No, they're just. Okay, like clean up. Discard everything you played, take back anything you didn't. Everyone good? Next round, starting with the event. Uh, start player passes to Keegan. Sweet. Recoil. The Black Rose inflicts one damage on each mage for each uh, attack spell in their hand. Maximum three. Oof. I take three damage from the Black Rose. That's lightning bolts? Yes. I, I take one. I take one. How do people... Oh, because they played spells and let them draw cards? I activated yes. a room that drew me cards. Uh, uh, Keegan, yeah, black. Ah! All right. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, here, uh, Walker, I have a face. It's a reminder of, uh, of who done did you. Gotcha. Um, the Black Rose uh, does not participate in the trophies competition, so I don't. the Black Rose doesn't get a kill token. There's a tie between uh, Keegan and the Black Rose, so the Black Rose and Keegan each get three points. And uh, Walker gets one. Yay! That was very painful. Is this going to be one of those times where I'm like, yeah, the Black Rose doesn't win, and the Black Rose is going to win for the first time ever? <laughs> idiot. Uh, the, Black, like three the Black Rose gets three more points because of the event. And now I'm punching people's strategy. is clearly not doing you much good. <laughs> uh, so that's the event phase. Um, Keegan, do you have any active quests? 
Uh, I completed my quest earlier. So take one. Ah, sweet. Megan, do you have any active quests? Yeah. Uh, you may discard it and uh, replace it by, and in so doing, giving give the Black Rose uh, two points. Eh. Sorry, you give it one, even though you're pulling from I'll, the. This, I'll, this I'll, I'll give it a shot. Okay, I'll take this one. Thank you. I'll take this one. Oh my! Uh, this is that's all. This is. Funny. Do these rooms become reactivatable this turn? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Do, do we flip these over? Oops, indeed. <laughs> Huh? Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, your physical tokens uh, get flipped up. Your um... so you just as a note, you get to pretend activated for the gotcha. purposes of that of that quest. Oh, I can still complete it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I, I seem to recall that's the case, and if not, it's a house rule now. All right. At the destroyed room, I assume. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, flip up. Sorry for being so transparent about it. That's fine. Uh, uh, flip up your uh, physical activation tokens, and uh, we're off to the races. Do we draw more cards? Oh yeah, two for your deck. Do we shuffle our discard back into our deck? It's a sna- standard deck building yeah. rules. Yeah. yeah. Like, sometimes you have to. I didn't see anything for. Keegan, you're a first player. Triggering it. But I am first player. Uh, a I note: take... uh, the take damage for summoning stuff is still in play. Uh, Cardamancy seems weird. What else do I want? Cardamancy is weird, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Mark, what would you like? Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, do I get new cards? Oh yes. I, yeah, once again, are, hey, counterclockwise, go ahead. What would you like? Uh, same, same thing. Pick four, key two. Yes. Uh, let's go... Uh, enchantment, enchantment, card, card. Trickery and void for me, two each. Ah, this card is kind of misprinted. I guess that wouldn't shock me. Check out the... Check out the what? Oh, no. Uh, this is how... Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so be it, yeah. Question. Yes. If you have a duplicate summon a thing spells as someone else and they've already summoned the thing. There are copies. Uh, of these? Oh, those. Uh, you want my hammer or my oh, well, Quadius? <laughs> I, I, quest, I, I have one of those two cards <laughs> yeah. and I'm curious what it, how it interacts. <laughs> You and I won. Doesn't say. Uh, I mean, I assume the options are either you steal it from them or you, it doesn't work. So I assume uh, stealing it from them does not seem the most obvious interpretation. Yeah, uh, like so, it seems weird. So I yeah. assume just, I'm just going to not take that one, I guess. I mean, like, I assume there's a, like, it, it has a health, so it could die, and then I could summon it, but... Yeah. Checking something because I know someone's about to ask me about it. Yeah, okay. Mm. 
When you die, do you lose your equipment? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you don't lose uh, you don't lose your constructs, so I assume not. But Rock. I mean your your uh, your evocations. I get to go last. It's amazing. Well, you're. I mean, it kind of is. You're in your you're in your cell. Nothing can hit you. I suppose. Equipment cards. Probably don't lose them because they can be attacked like summons. Yeah. They are a sub type of evocation, it looks like. Oh, so if, if the room gets targeted, then they'll take wounds? Uh, some of them specifically say they don't take damage from the room being targeted, and some of them don't have that. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, my Gladius doesn't take damage from gotcha. other effects, but. My hammer does. Cool. And when we were hanging out here and Mark hit the room for two. I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. It was great. Uh, I don't know if I had my hammer okay. out. No problem. I might have. Oh, holy we'll crap. Asterix. I for sure would have had. <laughs> I for sure have this one out, which is which the is one that doesn't. Immune. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So I think. Um, correct me. Uh, so I'm question mark. So all the brown ones are like mini. These things. Mini okay. Guys. Sure. Um. I'll take so, your report. So, well, I mean, I sort of assumed the fact that they're all, they're brown. Not all Actually, the brown. <laughs> the spells are brown. Okay. Um, so is it if I play that, I get that, or I I play that and then I get that? I have no ability to parse what you've just uttered. Um, well, so what I did last turn is I kept two. I mean, I played four spells in total anyway, but yep. I kept two back and played them when I played this card. Uh -huh. But I'm wondering if it might actually be if on your turn. You play to these these two. You get the thing because it's a quest mini quest. Oh yeah, it, it yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It didn't it didn't make. It, I mean, it changed the order I did some things in, but it didn't give me additional spells. But I think that's what that is. <laughs> yep. When are you allowed to remove cards from your... Now-ish. So if this is my hand, I can take it out of the game. And yep. then go through the deck and take whatever card I want. You have in entirely invented that second deck. <laughs> <laughs> do um, I get anything, or do I just... You get nothing. You get to prune your deck. It's probably from the Forgotten deck, too, I think, specifically. No! No! Cards. Stop! <laughs> just, just stop! All of you, just stop! <laughs> I'll keep it, even though I just... I, I, Ah, uh, brings me so much pain just thinking about it. Just, just all of you stop. Jeez, you people need to stop. All right, I'm ready. Me too. Me five. Okay, that's not going to matter soon. That's when the franchise started going downhill. That's right. <laughs> No, well, four even wasn't great, but. Okay, that's not going to happen. There's nothing going to work that's going to not. Either way, Power Geyser. Power Geyser, Power Geyser, Power Geyser. Not quite. <laughs> Mostly just Power Geyser. I mean, he does do a triple Power Geyser, but he only says go bang and Power Geyser once. 
I'm at, I'm at name occupation in. I know. Uh, <laughs> first name, last name, occupation. Yes. Uh, power Geyser. Bronte, Bronte, Bronte. <laughs> <laughs> Bronte was an occupation, basically. It's a subset of author. <laughs> <laughs> what characterization, uh, how would you characterize your, your of Non-Bronte. All right. <laughs> Understood. I'm about to get to get, about to get Bronte, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Cause of death, Bronte. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make sure they're all the right way up. First player. Oh, yes. Uh, I want people to be in other yeah, okay. places. Yeah, it kind of stinks being the first player for uh, this particular round. Yeah. Not, I mean, I do see uh, a chicken hut that you're able to... Uh, no, 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 I, I can I can do some shenanigans here. Uh, I'm gonna go here and activate to complete a quest. Uh, instead of the regular effect, I choose another mage and take two cards from their grimoire. I choose. Oh, I guess I can't interact with you guys though, right? Because you're in your. Oh, it's true. Yes, yeah. Megan, I choose to take the top two cards of your grimoire. If you take any of her unique spells, it fi that part of it fizzles. You can never you can never take uh, an, an opponent's unique spell. Just, okay. So just if you draw one of your unique spells, you that is discarded and you don't get a replacement. Okay. I mean, uh, for each of them, I choose to either put it in my hand or remove it from the game. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I okay. wanted to talk. Target. Two, two of these are the ones I just acquired. <laughs> it's just the top two that I pick. And um, I don't know what your unique spell is. It's, it, not, it's it, not that, it's in my hand. It would, show, it, it would show Baba Yaga's face. I, I, I glanced at the three and then shuffled them. Uh, it was not Oh, I'm true. terribly sorry. We should each have, anyway, we're all delayed. Everyone take a second copy of your uh, unique spell and put it oh, in your hand. Oh, it's in your hand. Okay, so that yeah. uh, would not Sweet. change anything. Oh, in your hand. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. If it was in my grimoire, it, he might have drawn it. <laughs> that goes there. Uh, How many I'm points do you get? Keeping that one, and this gets burned. The it, world. It's it's a uh, card cardamancy. Yeah. How it's many How not, many points? It's not my one. Uh, the quest two. Sorry. And anything else? Uh, yep. Then I'll flip my spell. I will remove this evocation. What? And what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Let me see that card. This is nonsense. And I suffer damage! Can you suffer the damage? No. How dare you! Maybe I, I should have maybe waited to play that, but... How dare you! I want to get My dude! Points. My little Mesoamerican dude! He's been bronte <laughs> And instability. Wait a, wait, wait a key in that, that up. Yep. Oh, man. All right, Megan. Um, I'm going to cast... The Hierophant. Uh, next spell I suffer, I can acquire a copy of that spell from the library and I gain a point. I gain a point right now. Um, and... Do I want to move anywhere right now? I'm going to play Justice. Justice. It is a mini... Uh event so it doesn't actually do anything at the moment. So it's just a little justice. Yeah. Just a just a just a little bit. Um that one I discarded. The world. Did I get two points from that? What? I don't think well, I Well when when we when we did the card wrong, no. Yeah. Well I, I mean I would have the card is at most Sure you would have you would have you would have done it anyway. Yeah. Okay fine. Yeah. Because like, it, it's not like I played more spells than I had space for. Yeah, like, yeah. I had a hand of four, and I played four. I, yeah. I, I, I hear you're cheating. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> you're the one who told, uh, told me to keep them in my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheaters is what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to move two spaces. I'm going to activate the forge, which allows me to move and then punch. I'm going to punch the injured uh, Dargon in the face. That gives you two instability in the room, but I guess it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Well, because there's no room in the observatory for... Oh, I got you. Oh, I yeah. see. Because it's the observatory. Uh, and then I'm going to cast. Am I? Wow, I played these in the wrong order. I'm done. <laughs> Move and activate. I do, I do like the sequencing like part of it. That's pretty interesting to. Lens connect for Walker. Try to. I'll, adapt get, you, I'll your... get you the card. 
that you're going to say, I'll, I'll put the roses in the base for you. Well, I mean, I'm tempted to do that too, jeez. There you go. That's no, okay. How much health does it have? Two. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Three. Moves two, hits for two, has three, has three health. It is an undead construct. No, sorry, it is an undead evocation. You're up. Oh, oh wait, no, I have a second action. Sure. Uh, was it this one? Yes. Instability in this room. So I'm going to copy one of your demons in the target room. The demon can punch. So this guy can go back out as, this is nonsense. as demon three. Uh, well, it's only... I can't put it in anyone's room, unfortunately. Because no one's in a straight line. But that's okay. And go into the black room. Go ahead, Keegan. How do I want to see Thank what you. this is? Yeah. Oh, look. You don't have enough rose tokens to... Yes, I do. I have extra. Oh. Oh, well, then I guess it's not a big deal that you lost one. Oh, it is kind of. But it's we'll a massive deal, but I'm just being we'll polite. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Uh, right. Do you realize so, what the resale value of this game is now? It's this? worthless. I am acquiring another There's piece of equipment. Uh, two extra. My punches do an extra damage. And I get... So is it three damage at range two to everyone in the room now? Yes. And I get a free movement punch. Of course you do. And I will punch that room. Oh, okay. So, uh, Lens Connect was not long for the world, and hand him three. It does three damage? Yes. His punches do three now. Um, you imply that there's a m maximum number of two quests? You just quests? killed my whole turn. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. You can never have more than two quests in here. Welcome to Black uh, Rose Wars. Of course, it's implies mm. I can have three. Uh, and I'll flip my other one as well to, once again, Bronte's Wrath, and... Destroy an evocation, you suffer two damage. Oof. Wait, what was this? My second can't turn. Do two I agree spells that there's a, a subtle implication, hmm? but only can't do two spells in a row. One, one was my sure. Given oh, sure. quick play. Like, I'm very confident you're okay. limited to two. Okay. Don't don't draw all three. Well, you look at all three, you just don't. Yeah, keep just don't all draw, just don't keep all of them, yeah. Because <clears throat> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm down here. I'm not saying necessarily would you do that anyway, but. Just saying, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I'm sorry. Go okay. ahead, Megan. Mark will be the next target. Hmm. Someone is eventually going to have to target Megan for something. We realize this. Yes. Any instability that needs needs I to go in. I just put one out. You did that already. Okay. Um, I'm this going to uh, discard as many spells I want from. And this is dead. To draw that many from my grimoire, I gain a point. And because I just I'm going to discard three spells, um, I gain two more from my grimoire, and I gain two points. So three points total. How, how did you, given that this is the second round, how did you cast three spells? Um, action, action. You cannot do two spells down here in the same, in the same oh, action. Oh, I missed that fully then. Okay. Um, is the only restriction on your actions you cannot cast okay, well, I'll just two down here. I'll have done one thing last round. Okay. Um, and do that this round. Okay. Are you owed any points now? No. Okay. Uh, this, this doesn't happen until I do that. Cool. I'm going to cast Eldritch Tentacle. Inflict three damage to uh, everyone in this room. Boo. So do I destroy any of your equipment, you piece of crap? Uh, you destroy two pieces of my equipment. That is beautiful, and I'm happy. You and to the rest of the table, you're welcome. Uh, and then I get to activate that room. Whee! So I get to discard four cards, which I have. Pull three from a forgotten deck. Has it been shuffled? Uh, I assume not. I'll no. shuffle it, and I'll draw three. By the way, all the forgotten spells are foil. Ooh. All my punches do now is have range two. <laughs> How's it feel, Keegan, to have all your toys blown up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they were good while they lasted. I grabbed them with my tentacle. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, they can only punch one person now. And only for two. Well, what that means is it liberates more more equipment for you. <laughs> yeah. Are you done, Mark? Yes. May I discard this card to move one square? Absolutely. Do I get to do anything else for doing that? Yes. It is one action, but you get to do any other action oh, you I want. Oh, I see, I see, I see. But nothing from the discard part. Well, it does your discard pile. Yeah. 
suppose I could have done a move. And then done. second action, I'm going to cast so, a spell at you, Mark. Thing again. <laughs> Why? Right. Well, because yeah. it doesn't hurt you. You can. Uh, yeah, it just means that you have extra action. Until the end of the turn, every yes, time yes. a target mage casts so a spell, yourself. I get to place an instability uh, in the room where I should think about are. some of these rooms okay. now that I don't... She's probably not Well, that's it. I was like, I probably would have taken a move action, but people moved on. And Keegan, is now your turn. That's fine. You can... Oh. Do not... I will just all of, I will take the leftover. All of my weapons are gone. Um, throne room doesn't really matter. Oh, this was not there. Not that it matters. That was my quick spell. And what is this one? The abyss. Sends an adjacent person back to their. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to target anything like that. Nope. Nobody has damage from other players. This is the tricky bit. Well, I mean, I died, so. Yeah. I want to convert your damage. The arena causes somebody to cast. Okay, I'm gonna. I know I said you can only take and one of these cards. I'm gonna take all of them. Treasure. <laughs> pleasure room gives you a quest. Treasure room gives you a point. I take you discarded four cards to. I did. I want all these so bad. Alright, <laughs> discarding these. Actually, they go to the bottom of the deck. Because there's not, we're not going to cycle through a whole lot. Uh, and what's that green one up there? Sorry. What new travesties are being inflicted upon my person? Uh, well, I don't want to just beat up on Walker, because like you pointed out, he isn't in last place currently. Um, yes, uh, very close to Walker in last place would be me. Then there's the person who's tied with you for first. <laughs> That's true. Who has not been the subject of any effect at all. Yeah. Mm. I, I got I got my two first turns shortened. <laughs> so, oh no! <laughs> sorry, I, it's never come up for me before. Are these move and punch? No, or no. Move or it's punch? move it. It's move, move and activate, activate a room in either order. Yeah. Or, or punch, punch and activate a room in okay. any order. Yeah. And yes, I know you've been moving quite fine by yourself without having to bother with them. Thank you for the flex. I'll punch Megan. Because <laughs> he has flying fists. <laughs> he throws a sword at your, your face. I, it's, best, it's best not to ask questions. I guess I'll do this first. Um, I will discard three spells and then draw three spells from Grimoire. Yeah. Um, yeah, Megan's just off doing her own little quests. I know. It's, 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 you gotta. Well, I ate some of her cards. I know. It, it was, I <laughs> so liked, is this, is I this liked that library? one. The other huh? one I don't know. I just got it, but. No. And okay. then I get this one and then two of these back. Leave. Should we put the discard point Can back? Can I now have three points, please? It says you can't Three draw points from the top of, of that deck. It doesn't say anything about drawing from the... Holy circle. crap! Did you just lose some points? No, Megan just gained points. Oh, gotcha. Um, I think, like, the, the... So I took... I had the choice of the good omens or bad omens. The good omens, like, give me things. The bad omens punch people. Mm. <laughs> right. Or affect other people. So... Okay. Which is why I have not attacked Are you. Either. Done? Nope, I have a second thing, and I've only done one thing every turn, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's no point attacking Keegan, because then Mark's just going to get points from that. Uh, you, you if you're in second some. place, you'll get, three, you'll get two points. And when he dies, regardless of how many damage you've done, you get one point if, you're, if you've done any damage. You will also get a, uh, a trophy if you inflict a killing blow. And there is a point competition at the end of the game for most trophies. Have we been watching these uh, events? We don't miss anything? I've, I've, I've been watching them for me, but... Good. Yeah, this, this was a one-shot and, oh, and just happened. Oh, shoot. Okay. I have a question. If, if, my, if my spell uh, requires me to draw from my grimoire and I don't have any cards in my grimoire... You shuffle your discard and... I have no cards in my discard. Then you don't draw. Uh, okay, well, the spell requires me to draw to activate. Well, then it's not going to do its thing. Uh, can I get more cards? Uh, uh, the bi bibliotech? Don't do a la biblioteca. Not easily. Well, I guess I have two moves. Uh, sure, I'll move somewhere that gets me to the bibliotech. No, it lets, it, lets you draw it into your hand, the bibliotech. Yeah, that's not helpful. I need to get no. acquire cards. Yeah, there's no. I uh, I don't. I can't think of any way to acquire cards. I guess the question is, am I if, if on all these draw card effects, am I required to draw them if I can, for my grimoire? 
Uh, you mean when you cast a spell? The reward for this one is draw two from a grimoire. Uh, jeez, I don't know, man. I drew one because I had one left. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. I mean, you do as much as you can. But... So I'm saying, like, could I have drawn none and just leave that one? I guess I could have just not done this, and then I would have had cards left. I swear, Megan, uh... no one has ever given me a tenth as much trouble <laughs> as you have. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I, much played with that, I played with that school of magic before. I'd have cards left if someone hadn't stolen them all. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my problem. Uh... I'm also going to have a spell that can't do anything this turn, so... Oh, all my cards couldn't do anything this turn. Mm. Because someone so. killed my skeleton. Ah. Well, you've got... You've still got a... Summon. Is it a skeleton? Oh. Very specific. Well, actually, it is phrased in the imperative, you have to do it. Okay. Um, Are you happy? Yeah, I'm also... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Draw one card from your grim grimoire. Colon. Which sort of implies it's sequential. Inflict one wound from the target model for each symbol you have in your hand. Yeah. So do I, if I can't draw, do I still show things from my hand? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll do that then. So do the instability. Uh, the... Um, I've got, like, only this symbol, so um, Keegan, you take four damage. That kills me. It's max four. So he takes three. Which means at the point of death, I'm in first place, I get four. Megan's in second place, she gets two. Uh, the Black Rose and Walker each get one. No, wa Walker has... Oh, yeah, because it's... There's it's, no yeah, it's yeah, just... yeah. You go back home. Goodbye. And then Merc. And then everybody gets That's your second action? Yeah. And I need a trophy token? Or somebody needs a trophy token? Uh, you hand her one of your faces. Ah, there you face. go. Those are for Walker. Oh, actually, yeah, I did this backwards. I was going to say. Yeah, no. Yeah. Wait, that, that's not the same thing. Yeah, no, sorry. I, I got confused. <laughs> Give me your face. Mark Cubes. Thank you. Rose Cube. All right. Here's what's up. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to burn to get out on my turn. It's a thing. Uh, I'm going to move two spaces to the treasure room, and I'm going to activate it to give me a point. And then I'm going to cast uh, Drown uh, to inflict three damage on Megan. Ooh. Drowning's not pleasant. And you are done? That's why I'm doing two. Yes, I am. I move and activate the you observatory, like which triggers my quest. A third of Drowned. Which says it's I get to draw a, yeah, only a, draw a second <laughs> moon phase deck card instead of the current moon phase. I have to draw Just some moderate waterboarding. I just, yeah. I, I just so, points. It's the second moon. Uh, anyway, this, so. this would imply that I would normally draw it's from the current one. Fortunately, people... So you're you're activating <laughs> observatory. <laughs> And they're stealing uh, the cards. Oh, is that because it's... Uh, yeah, observatory yeah, normally draws a very little quest uh, You don't do that part because you're not actually activating yes, the cards. I just get the point. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Alright. Uh, that's one action. Can, Second oh, wait, action. Oh, wait, no. Walker might not be done. Will be to... Do nothing. Actually, I might as well move away. Oh, no, I'm not in a straight line, so I'm good. Alright. So, I am required to move. I am unable to move. I... Is this discarded or burned? Uh, discarded. And it gives me how many points of movement? One. Just the right. Pushes me out. Pass. Um, I will... What does the summoning ring do? Uh, it summons... I think it summons a... a Cerbero token... Yeah. ...in the room and take the corresponding evocation card. Yeah, it's a Cerbero. It's a... It's a... It's not especially impressive. It's like a Lions Connect. Sure, let's do that. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, Walker, if you could get a Serbro, uh, oh, it's a construct. It's a badass looking armored dude with two swords. Yeah, there's no point doing it. But human I size. Nothing, I have nothing in my grimoire. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Did you flip your token when, you, when you're supposed to? Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to cast Consume the Void. Remove a demon and gain a point. You said that my. Uh... One of your demons. What? Does it say one of your demons? No, a demon. 
Others, so, others specify ownership. But that's my demon. I know. It's, uh, well, I mean, it was it was very delicious void. I'll take care of that. You're up, Walker. I pass. Pass. It's been waiting on my demon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh wait, is it it? Oh, is it a demon? Flip it over. Oh, it's a demon. I'm sorry, Walker. I thought it was close. Oh, I'm look, looking through the Yeah, I know. That's I entirely my fault. Got like a Anubis. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I passed, by the way, on my thing. Because I'm attacks, not allowed to have any toys. Each time server attacks, one refresh something. You convert a wound okay. from one color to another color. Ah. Let's just destroy a demon. Remove a demon. Uh, Target any, any room. All my constructs are gone. Constructs come and go. You no. Just go in here? If you activate your construct once, that's a good... It's true. So, calm down. Uh, yeah, Joseph there, put a, put one of your roses in it. Yeah. Actually, no. Take one, hurl it on the ground. <laughs> no, that's what I my see, character I, I does. Are you done? <laughs> uh, I, I move, or I can punch. I guess I could punch Keegan. I will punch Keegan. For how much? Two. Two, Two is the default, unless Two. there's... Oh wait, you some you did some spells, Mark. How many spells did you do? Uh, nothing that and generates I instability. Uh, uh, no, my spell that I cast it's... on you, remember? Where'd you cast that spell? Uh, drown, I cast uh, there, and I cast consume the void. I'm very sorry. That's okay. No, 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 that's my right, fault. You're right. You're right. Uh, put a third one there. Sweet. Because I'm casting frost blades. I can move up to two spaces. Um. Yeah. And I think, and then I will stab Keegan for three. Oof! Warped devotee, able to catch a live stream. Thanks for sh sh sharing the game. No problem. And uh, that's it for me. Pass again. Pass. Uh, what can I do with my demon? Uh, it waits until the uh, evocations phase, and then okay. it activates by itself. Great, I'm done. Okay, so on the topic of evocations phase, uh, activate your demon. Uh, moves three, punches for two. Can convert a wound. Can convert a wound. Um, I'll punch Keegan. All right, mm. so Keegan takes two damage, and I assume you convert one of my wounds to yeah. yours. So effectively, she places three, and we remove the yellow. All right, we hurtle onwards uh, to the next round. Uh, so we flip over all these uh, suckers. No rooms have been destroyed, although the treasure room is close. Uh, discard all the cards you played. Take back all the cards you didn't. So oh, you take back yeah, the cards. Yeah, you get it, it goes back in your hand. Uh, it was this one. That usually applies to uh, untriggered defense, uh, untriggered traps. You guys have like, shot, I, I sell three cards in my. I'm not even going to. I draw two. I've I've discarded a bunch. I've drawn a bunch. It's, yeah. it's, the, the rate at which we go through our decks is very different. I also highly recommend the wheel. It's a badass card. Okay, event. Everything shuffles over. The black rose gets two points. Heard and done. Stabilize. Uh, remove one instability from each room. All right, I'll do that. Who? No, they're all mine. <laughs> no. Purple. Red. Red. Ready? Draw another event. Burning Illusory Key Lock. That's a lot going on. Flip the activation token of each blue room to its uh, backside, indicating the room may not be activated. So that's the mirror room, the abyss, and the mirror and uh, the oracle room. Furthermore, the black rose inflicts two damage on each mage currently in those rooms. Not applicable. And uh, the black rose gets two points. Two points to black rose, and we're two in the next moon phase. We are on the next moon. I think the Black Rose is going to win this game. Uh, <laughs> as a note, the damage on uh, the, the damage you take for casting summoning spells is gone. Okay. Uh, we are now yes, and we move to the next. Uh, the this is the quest. The, this is the event deck. This is the quest deck. Come on, babe. Uh, let me shuffle a bit. All right, quests. Uh, Keegan, do you have? No, not that deck. Yeah. I come shuffle. I do need a quest, yes. You need a quest? Okay. Here you go. 
What's your memories? Your Discord bio? Yes, memories. Megan. Intriguing. I already have one. All right. Holy crap! Potentially, I should probably I should get another one because this one's never going to happen. Oh boy. Uh, Walker, do you have a quest? I do not have a quest. Take one. Will do. It's time to get our learn on. So two from your deck, and draw four, keep two from elsewhere. You ready to play that with authority? Damn it. All right. I buy this game for a good while at my local game store, but never pulled the trigger. Glad to see you guys showcasing it. Nice. Yes. No. I love this game. I like it too. So it's good. Until Cosmic Frog, it was my favorite. Everyone smacks each other in the face all day game. Uh, right. Is everyone getting their learn on? Yes. Okay, I am now over my hand limit. <laughs> uh, discard now. Okay. Remember, during the learn phase, you can permanently prune a card from your deck. What is that? I mean, I, I'm It's not, a deck builder. I mean, same, okay. same logic. My character has no problem, like, I, I usually have most of my cards in my hand. Yeah, don't let me tell you how to live. Well, this is what has to happen. Well, that's interesting. Any uh, moving of the first player marker in those events? God darn it. Sorry, no. If you want first player, go to the uh, throne room. Are you ready for the party walk? The party? It's going to be a party. It's going to be a Tur party. Turn is the whole... The whole shebang. Okay. Event, learning, cleanup, evocations, actions, everything. There's a question about uh, Black Rose on the chat, Black Rose Wars versus Cosmic Frog. 
Cosmic Frog is... It's sheer iconoclasm alone gives it a lot of points, but in terms of gameplay, it's a lot cleaner. But you still get a sense of both the chaos and the playing with toys. Like, I love the fact that there are a billion unique spells in Black Rose Wars, and they all... But, first of all, a lot of them end up getting to the same place in different ways. And that's not nothing, but, like, whether I whether I drown you for three damage or give you a fireball for three damage, meh. I'm, I, there's flavor, and that that's helpful, but... And then it leads to a whole bunch of questions, um, as exhibited by... Who is... I don't know. Who is this asking those questions? To? I don't know. Probably me. Um... And something, you know, there's a certain amount of grit and a certain amount of component sprawl. And this includes the Sator box, which was the Kickstarter exclusive, which you, I, I did see, like, I don't know, you'd probably be able to get for somewhere between two to five, two to three hundred bucks. But that's a lot of money. On the other hand, Cosmic Frog is MSRP 70, is constantly in print, or at least reasonably regularly in print. Uh, soon to have an expansion. Soon to have an expansion, you're right. The Find Muck expansion. So, I mean, I like Black Rose Wars a lot, but between Black Rose Wars and Cosmic Frog, even setting aside the economics, I play Cosmic Frog. And admittedly, they're not even that similar games. The only reason why I equate them is because prior to this game, I hadn't really encountered a free-for-all combat style game that felt even remotely fair. Like, remotely fair. When do you get new quest cards? When you, when you have nothing in your... Only at the top of the round. Top of the round, okay. After the events, we deal with quests. Unless something I like. I mean, the observatory used to give you quests, but uh, Walker burnt that to the ground. The pleasure room gives you quests. Burn it all! Oh, yeah. Um... I would imply that there's a tie to begin with, which is mostly why I'm asking. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, uh, three mile high cosmic frogs don't tie with anything. Everyone ready? Yep. Keegan. Is Keegan still first player? Yes. Yes. Nothing happened, but Someone, yeah. some of the cards. Someone, no one's done. Uh, no one's done that, okay. Uh, hammer tie. <laughs> so which one does the hammer do? Hammer is target of room. Okay. Uh, and I get a free attack. I attack this room. Okay. So, how much does it do? Two damage to everything in the room. Okay. So, Cerbero's dead. Thank you. I'll take care of it. And then I will... Is this dead? Your equipment? Equipment. Uh, no, because it has the icon that indicates that it is not vulnerable. Yeah, it's room, immune room to effects. room effect. Okay. Yeah, to things that target the room. And then I'll punch Megan for two. Okay. Really? Mate, you haven't died yet and you're oh, winning by a oh, lot. Oh, actually, you did three damage to me on a single effect. I fully forgot this card existed because it's like... What is it? Okay. Yeah. Um... Which means it should have been gone when you hit me. I fully forgot it existed. Why? Because it has two health. I didn't hit the thing. I hit you. How do you hit a thing? You, you can target it. You can target it. Target target it. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're like, e they're a subtype of evocation. Okay. All right. I'm dead. Okay. So, uh, Keegan gets four points. I get two. Keegan, you're red. Uh, yes. Yep. Uh, yeah. Megan, hand copy. Uh, uh, Megan, hand Keegan a copy of your face. And, uh, yeah, the damage wipes. Uh, that was two actions. No, remember, what else can you do besides punch with that token? Hmm? You can activate the room. Oh, sorry. Would you like to activate the summoning room? Would you like your own server? Yeah, why not? Okay. I'll get the card again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it take up a slot in evocation? Yes. It does. I'll still take it. When you, uh, overkill your slots, you can get rid of whatever you want. Okay. You're not obliged to get rid of slot number one. Slide it to the front. Slide those over, other over. One rose means slot one. Oh, okay. I see. Not that it really matters, but yeah, just sure. to keep uh, yeah, it. Yeah, given the Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't sure what the iconography meant. Sorry. Uh, the rose ahead. also means that it's the chosen Cerbero, and you get yes. to participate again next week. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was about to say. That's it. I've exhausted my knowledge <laughs> yeah. of the show. Yeah. Is there, do they go to like some grotto or something? You don't like go that? through the whole the whole season and not give them the same. It's, uh, you can't. You gotta do it right. Okay, anyone watching, do you know anything about the Bachelor? What happens you when you get a rose? Yeah. 
you only get one rose at the very end of the season. Um, no, really? I thought he. I thought you get a rose each week. Oh, for is the, it? Then you okay. survive. I should, I should yeah. be quiet. One point four white. You have a certain number and of roses to distribute each week. That's always less than uh, the Justice number of remaining contestants. Gotcha. It's just the way they eliminate room, people. Including myself in there. Uh, target. Uh, get one. Draw one from your grimoire. And I. You can get one from your grimoire. Oh. And what? And else? I get one point for each of you. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> jerk. Two points. That's actually one, not two. great, Megan. I, <laughs> I, didn't, right. I want that card to be on the top of my deck. Are people ready for the party? No. No? No. 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 People aren't ready for the party? No, I plan to leave. Unfortunately, it's time for the party. Mm. Uh, it's time for the Rose Guardian. Mm. So, step one. I should have made myself immune to Mark. It's good to know. Since you're here, I might as well thank you for the excellent breakdown on how to die in Doom Rock. Oh, I'm glad it was helpful. All right, what's happening with the party? Everyone, we have an overlord in our presence. Oh, no. Mm. Just show off proper deference. Uh, okay, uh, so Bolo shows up. Bolo is a beast. If you hand me the bag of beasts, I'm not going to proceed until Bolo hits the table. I'm sorry. Beast bag. Beast bag. The bag of beasts. So this is my new friend, Bolo. He's <laughs> very happy to make your acquaintance. So thrilled, in point of fact, uh, that all other mages are going to join him. I don't think I'm going to like Bolo at all. Interesting. Mm. Prejudice? Get, get, get yanked in there? That's just because of his underbite, isn't it? You know, honestly, I'm disappointed in you, Walker. Uh, and then he punches everyone in the face for four. Oh. Four for you. You die. Oh. Uh, four for Walker. Which means we tie? Uh, no, well, Megan comes second. I'm second, yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's four for me. One shy. I know. Two for Megan. And uh, I get your face. You've almost caught up to the rose. Is he not the black rose forward there? I think so. Oh, sorry. I think they're on the face. Yeah. I'm back here, in case you can't see in the camera. At the at the back here. At the at the very back. This this is where I am. Bolo loves you the most. Uh, do I wish to do anything else? Uh I will cast the spell. Uh, shuffle your grimoire and memories together, uh, and memories together to make a new grimoire, and then draw two. I'm done. And just as a reminder, at the end of the round, this card will leave the game. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a it's one single time. use. And... Yeah, I don't, I don't get to keep casting that. What, uh, what's his deal? Move two, uh, a hit for four. Um, if he's in the black rose room, he can't be targeted or suffer any damage. At the beginning of the cleanup phase, if he's not in the Black Rose Room, he suffers one damage and moves to the Black Rose Room. <laughs> How much health does he have? Sorry. Four, but you can't Four. target or damage him, so... Not right now. Not right now. But not while yeah. he's there. He can't be targeted or suffer damage, so yeah. if you're planning on moving him, you can't, because mm. you can't be targeted. In addition to, well, the normal effect of this room is, you and another mage in any other room must cast either the next standard ready spell or quick spell. Pick the, pick the it's um, oh, going to be also, any of us. Missed that. Again. It's going to be. Oh, but I'm in a straight line from. Can't, can't both be. Of I can't, can't be targeted. Yeah, you so. can't target Beacons. It's I'm in my bedroom. Ah, uh, well, Mark is further away, so Mark, you must cast your next next spell. What? Well, that's what this says. What? 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 You what? and another mage in any other room must cast either their next standard or ready spell or quick spell. But, but... Exactly. But Walker... Yes? But... Apparently he doesn't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Well, life is hard. I'm going to cast Cowardice. <laughs> uh, transfer two wounds of, of mine to the target... How many uh, the, of Keegan's is there? Five. Five? Uh, so that'd be six, and then, yeah, okay. Transfer uh, two wounds of mine to the target mage. One uh, will kill him, though. I know. Okay. And then I get to convert two wounds to my color. Ah, I see. Oh, good. I won't get a second action. That's, that's a, or do I get my second action? Uh, you can. You do immediately go back to your. If you would like to do. Well, you immediately go back to your. If you, uh, if you would like death. to move. <laughs> okay. 
so so hold on. Did you activate the the room? In in what context did you activate the room? Uh, with my token. After having moved or before having moved? After moving there. Okay. So, in addition to the normal room effect, cast one spell from your hand. Then the rest of your hand goes into my memories. You finish that action. I'm, sure. I'm assuming so. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to make sense. And two points for Keegan. And then all this wipes. And I get a walker face. Can't read my, can't read my. Let's uh, put this on top. Summon a Dargan in target room. All of your demons may move one. We need two Dargon cards, Mark. We have a moment. Two more? No, just one more. Oh, Did you okay. give me the first one? I don't know. No, so I'll need two. So many Dargons, Jesus. So many Dargons. Why don't you just keep all the Dargons? <laughs> Access I, know, I, the I was tempted just to Yeah, yeah, just, just keep them in your corner of the board. I kept the I, figures. And I still need one of your faces. Face for you. I wasn't planning on targeting you with that, but uh, then this arena happened. Then the arena happened. Oh, I haven't used any physical tokens. These should not be flipped over. Uh, Walker's done. Keegan. Uh, oh, this is my first action. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I now need to move out. Do I want to do this? So there's the armory, there's the same, uh, you know, the, there's the throne room. You can activate the throne room if you want. I don't think I want, will yours uh, act first in the, because, act because in I'm early in turn order, yes. Well, I don't want to be in that room. See, that's the problem, that's why he's so angry, Bolo is lonely. And acting is move and attack, correct? Uh, you're going to need to specify a lot more on that question. When you activate a, when it says activate a, An evocation? a thing, yes. it's move and attack? Yes. All right, so back here, second action will be to uh, move and activate a room. Now the crown will activate and I'll be last again, but that's fine. No, you'll be second, because it moves counterclockwise oh, when... Uh, true. Yeah. So you, you definitely get benefit from activating the room, is the logic. All good? All, All right. done now. Uh, move and activate. Uh, use my quest to, instead of the normal effect, uh, oh, I get three victory points. take the top four cards. Oh, that didn't work well. Um, oof. Two... Okay, yeah, that works. Two, three, four, five points. I burn the top four cards in my deck. Sorry, are you... I, this is from? Uh, the quest. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and score it. And that's activating the, the Biblioteca? How many, yeah. is, how many points? Four. Five. Five. And I have to lose a bunch of these. All of them, actually. Uh, so this is like golf, right? <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> that's it. Uh, oh, sorry. I'll play a spell, which is I'm immune to mark. Oh, and the rose surely I'll goes to the next one when to get murdered. Off yes. Of future actions. Go ahead, Emily. One thing. Sorry, what was that? I'm casting a spell that is a trigger off my future actions. Cool. Ah, uh, this is some nonsense. I. Homer Dargon should have. I, I'm immune out. to your attacks. In story. Uh, just the, your lightning bolts. To my lightning bolts. Okay. Yes. Well then, say so. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna move here and activate the alchemical library. Which, or do I want a Cerberus instead? Yeah, I want a Cerberus instead. Instead of uh, moving and activating, I'm going to activate and then move. So I can have a, a swanky Cerberus as well. Uh, I'll take care of that later. And then I move, and then I'm going to activate again. I'm going to move, and I'm going to activate the Sanctuary, which heals me from two damage. And uh, that is my story. Then I'll get my server. Walker. Mm. When the range on something is an asterisk. Anything. Okay. It, the card usually. Card often specifies. specifies. Okay. Well, your demons can act immediately at the end of its movement. Place one instability. Oh. Mm. First, I'm going to do my quick one. 
before I do the other one. Okay. Pay a victory point because I have so many. So many. To cast one of the first three cards from your memories. Oh. Summon a Dargon. <laughs> <laughs> really? More? Oh, wow. Oh, but you can start piling on the instability. That, that could be a source of points. Well, that's what I'm trying. You know, yeah. It's not going to work, but you know, I can pretend. I mean, it's an idea, yeah. And anyway, long story short, it's going to go here. Summon Dargon. Then all of my demons may move one space. Um, I'd just like to move somewhere where they might not get targeted. They'll go there. Sure. Then for my second action, because that was a quick one, I get to do this one actually. Now I get a instability here. Yes. Second one will be this one now. One of your demons can act immediately at the end of its movement, place a instability. instability. Nice. It's not going to move, but it, well, I guess it can move two, one, two back here, and then it attacks you for one point of damage. I thought but it attacks me. Just as a note, instead of attacking, can't it place instability? It can. I just, just pointed that out. One, though. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. And you get another instability in the throne room because of that second spell you cast. You're correct. And if you would hand me the, the beast bag while you're getting your dark. Go ahead, Keegan. Thank you. I'm sorry, Walker. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> this? What are you doing now? No, I'm not, I'm not punching him, but the next card I had lined up is just eat instability for points. Oh, no. <laughs> your own instability. Oh, is it my own? I don't know. What does it say? It just is the instability symbol. Remove two instability from the target room to gain yep. a point. Anybody's... Why do all my cards say remove my demons or remove my instability, but everyone else's cards is anybody's? Uh, because life isn't fair. I Where's the demon bag? Did I take it? I can't find the demon bag. Walk I think I just gave myself a point. Pretty sure I gave myself a point. Uh, and that's all I can do. Has anyone seen the bag of demons? It's a bag with demons in it. With a label on the front that says demons. There are no bags over here. Demons. I'm done. Um, I might, I might activate a move, and let's activate the Black Rose Room since I was forced into it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, making lemons out of lemonade. And I have three Wait, forgotten no, spells. Are... Ooh, these are curled cards from the foiling. Because they're, fo yeah, cause they're Ooh, foil. Because yeah. they're foil. And then I, I will also get to move uh, somewhere, and I will get a second action. But let me just see if this changes. Oh, there's going to be a lot of evocation. Oh, yeah. Business happen in this round. Uh, da -da. I forgot what my last spell is. You can look at it. I will. I'm just while I'm just You're using to my giant mandibles <laughs> to try to put in these little tiny little. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend using your face. No. <laughs> Sorry. Discard. Bottom of the deck. Oh. Here's the uh, bag of demons now. Um, and then I move. Man, why does no one have any damage? <laughs> Because we've all died. Because Bolo, uh, Bolo done had a party. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I should shoot you because you keep attacking me. He's also winning. Um, Look, he's so far in the lead. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's winning. Okay. And then I will... Second action... Um, Draw a card from my grimoire. Uh, I inflict one damage to you for each globe I have, which is up to the maximum of four. So I do in your hand? hand? Yeah, in my hand. Yeah. Um, and... See, right now, wrong time to ask a question. Yeah, no, that's why I'm stopping. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Uh, nope. Any uh, other imprecations oh, you sorry. wish to inflict uh, on my on my person? Sorry, um, I inflict uh, four on the same age during the action phase. Um, so I place this card back in my hand and get two points. Oh yeah, two, four, one. That was why I did that. <laughs> oh no, no, look, if you're gonna if you're gonna hit somebody that hard, don't say that. Oh no, I did it for other reasons. You hit me to hit. Me. You hit me to see me hurt. Oh, I own it. I no, I hit you Just to see you hurt. That. I cast this card to get the point. <laughs> timing. Before or after the spell? Uh, after. Boo. What? Is this room been used? I thought someone used it. Megan did. Megan did. 
and then didn't flick it with Flippa because she thinks she's too good I'm for sorry. that. Yeah. Uh, should you oh, sorry, I put my own damage there. That was that was not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Did you just play that this turn? Yeah. Instability? Someone? Oh, uh, yeah, she's, yeah. On a, she's on a ruined room. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, yep, yes, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll check to confirm Walker, because he seems so disappointed. <laughs> it probably is. I assume so, but I just I was hoping for a moment. Spells, targets, damage, and defeat. Instability. I accidentally discard one of my fancy cards today. No. Perfect. Yeah. First thing is instability. Oh, first thing is instability. Yeah. Sweet. All right. The, oh, I thought that's what I told you. I know you said after the spell. No, no, you pointed to the effect, and I said after. With your giant mandibles. Yeah, I pointed to that part. No, no. See, okay, when both of your thumbs are like this, <laughs> and you're like, which one first? You can... I swear, Walker. Megan, are you done? <laughs> yeah. Mark, it's your turn. Can you take your turn and stop screaming like a maniac? Oh, you piece of crap. Uh, okay, first up, I'm summoning uh, a construct that looks like a being of living energy called Atlaya. So if you give me the construct bag at some point. Of... Constructs. Constructs. The construct bag of constructs. Are all forgotten spells single use or is that just use? all of them? Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. Uh, during a single game turn, activate a yellow room. Done. Cast at least three um, contingency spells. Done. Four points for Mark. I feel like. I feel like I. This might get the last night of the game. Uh, well, I've done all my actions, so. Okay. You're all done, Mark. Yes. All right. Oh, Casting. Hell. The Hello, face. Atlaya, the you what, sexy beast. What if you get more points during the cleanup phase? Uh, well, then things will be different. It, 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 I was wondering just exactly when the trigger Well, no one's about to die, so... True. Faceless power. Uh-oh. Uh, remove three from target room to gain two victory points. Wow. That... Two points for nothing is... Uh, yeah. No, it would be uh, five points if the room blows up. Yeah, but that the throne room. That, that the the throne room is. Uh, uh, that is all I'm doing. I don't want to be Frank. Uh, Frank does seem mostly to live, lead, a, lead a life of acquiring games and not playing them, which seems unfortunate. I keep uh, inviting yeah. him to things in case that he never comes. I should stop. Two damage him. to Walker. What? And uh, you get moved to an adjacent room. Which room would you like to move to? Uh. Is there, or would someone. you like to attack Megan or Mark? I, would, I can I can move you next. Or to Mark. I would like to move to this room, far <laughs> away from the giant <laughs> the giant beast. It's got moved too. <laughs> that's going to hurt someone. All right, and I unfortunately do not. Can have I move back into myself? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, time for my I'm done. I just want to hide. Um, I cast the Hangman. I get rid of this thing because it has not been doing me any good, and it's a crescent, and I get two of those. Two of these? Yeah. There you are. Back to you, Mark. Cool. Uh, I'm out. I am also out. 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 Okay. All right. Time for the evocations phase, beginning with uh, Mr. Hammer. Mr. Hammer, do you have any evocations? Ooh, me, yes. Oh, sorry. I'm, I apologize. That's Mr. Okay. Dargon, it is time for the Dargon parade. Yeah, these guys would like to jump in here and blow the treasure room up. Ooh, good call. So just put the cubes there. We'll blow it up later. Oh. It happens during cleanup. True, true, true. I just want, just true, in case true. it matters. And this Dargon would like to go into one, two, three, four, five, four. He'll just stay where he is. Can you do them in any order? Can you attack yeah. and then move? Uh, oh, um, all these questions. I know. I'm sorry. Jeez. Move first, then attack. Okay. Done then. All of my peoples have moved. Mr. Hammer. Uh, yes, this guy. Does he want to attack Megan or Mark? Mm. I don't think he can reach me. Uh, he I'm... Moves, moves three. I think he can reach oh, me. Oh, yeah, he's fast, yeah. Should punch Mark. I probably should punch Mark. He's going to... <laughs> Megan... Mark's, smart. Mark's winning. But Megan is closer to death. Uh, true. I, I have less health to punch. I have nine health. Oh. Can you punch me for... No. I mean, if you if you, uh, uh, so I hit you for two and convert one of your existing. Yeah, so any three, any three. 
That is all. Megan. I have, I have none. Uh, okay. It is time. Okay, now I have a question. Do they have to activate in order? On... I, doubt I doubt it as well, but let's let's see. It's going to somehow pull out five points here. In any order. It. No, there's no way. I can't kill two things in one turn. Uh, I can, however, completely murder Megan. So, uh, below comes and hits you for four. Hmm. Should have attacked Megan. I'm still alive. I know. Below know what's up. Below can count. Then, uh, Cerbero is going... Oh, wait, no, that's... Megan is sad. Yeah, that works. Cerbero finishes you off. Um... Did... Uh, did, uh, does this affect your big guy? Yes. Okay, he takes a wound. We're all very impressed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my spiky armor. Ah, yes. Can I have a Megan face, please? I have no face. Oh, I have one face. Okay, sweet. I have not done much murder. Uh, then, You've been questing. Uh, I'm going to activate this. It moves one space, murders the Cerbero. Cerbero. And the My first Cerber time bro. it defeats if the first time it defeats a model during the uh, evocation phase, it can immediately move up to two and do four damage. Four damage to Hammerhead. Oh. Uh, that is it for the evocation phase. During cleanup, Below suffers one damage and retreats to the Black Rose Room. And then other cleanup things happen. So this will be the last turn. Uh, do the blues, most likely. Do the blues uh, stay dead because of... No. Okay. No, no. The event happened, but then... Mark will be able to do a quest, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, I assume... I assume, Maybe? I assume we'll see. Martin, Mark's going to get a point. But uh, it is... What? Deck. Deck? I'm not sure where the server bro came from. Uh, server bro? <laughs> server bro. Server bro. <laughs> he works in IT. Ooh. He really likes crypto. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that still a thing? I thought that was done. Oh, uh, it's still, it, they're still trying. Crypto is still around. Yeah. NFTs. Oh, yeah, that crack. happens right now. Good job, Walker. Uh... Okay, uh, event phase. Black Rose gets one point. Heard and done. Obliged by the Black Rose. All mages are shifted to the Black Rose room. Okay. Oh, I'm back on the board. Yep. <laughs> Then the Black Rose inflicts two damage on each of them. Two cubes um, for everyone. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, those are gone. Those are gone. <laughs> yeah. And death. Like, there's no way that it kills me. It was just in my room. <laughs> uh, the Black Rose gets four points. And then we draw another card. <laughs> Black Rose, you can do it. Yeah. I suspect I'm the only one who's going to object to this card. Smash the King. Oh, actually, Walker's <laughs> going to object to this card hardcore. Star player passes. Of course it does. No, but this is... this is The the, play, the mage with the most points is returned to their cell and loses two points. <laughs> nice. Oh, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Justice! <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, wait. Mm -hmm. This goes to the, uh, the bottom of the forbidden deck, if you don't mind. Oh, we don't have any like blowy uppy spells. I remember this happened when I had the destruction guy. <laughs> it was like, oh, everyone to my space, you're <laughs> and nobody can move now. <laughs> uh... I think Mark can probably still manage to get three points. <laughs> oh, uh, quests as well. Oh, yeah, quests. I don't have a quest. Ugh. Sure. Weird. Oh boy. Okay, I can do that. Maybe. Do you have any? Uh, is there any forgotten for the forgotten spells? Any victory points there at the end of the game? These are hand. Sorry. Any any victory points for having these in your deck or hand or somewhere at the end of the game? No. So, cast them.
What's the most uh, This is all Garbaggio. Oh, we should be getting more cards, shouldn't we? Yes. Yes, it is learn time. Draw two. Oh. And then get... Uh, I feel like these are probably the most damaging. I want to do some damage. Chosen my spells unwisely. Cast spells are ones that you actually like flip over and use, right? Yeah. Okay. Should we have our third uh, player card now? Yes. Probably. Take it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. Uh. Sorry. Keep forgetting that. My apologies. Thanks, Keegan. I appreciate it. No problem. I was just looking and I was like, what, what's the trigger going to be? And I was like, oh, I think it was the moons. I think, yeah, it was the moons. <laughs> it was the moons. I don't think this really matters. I don't play either of them. Boo. What is the Dancing Blades? It's a summon. How do I know what kind of summon it would be? What does it say? Dan uh, dancing Blades. I don't see it in... Does it say Summon Dancing Blades? Yes. Well, then it's a Dancing Blades. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Ah, Constru... Oh, it says on the skirt. Okay, I see. Print. Is it upside down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the one that I. As far as misprints go, it's pretty benign. Yeah, and we can read them both now. <laughs> Trap cards, just as a note. I, I have not there, seen one all game. <laughs> there are some. Not a whole lot in this mix. That's why I took Trickery. Trickery is less with the traps than I thought it was going to be. Uh, they all have their text in one direction because it, it, they typically have a couple of triggers and you only okay. place them. Wait, if it was leader. I, am, am I your leader? 
And are, 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 you, are, you fearless? are you fearless? Uh, uh, definitely not. So, no on both accounts. Yeah. Okay. I am going to move and activate because I'm kind of obliged. Uh, I'm going to go... This is Which an like awkward this. position. I look at the upside down text. Mm. Mm. It's upside down kitties. <laughs> like, oh, text it right. My favorite is, card. is this better? Am I better off this doing this? Am I? I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. Ugh. Okay, well, this is what's happening. I'm activating the forge. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Assassin. Instead of the normal effect, suffer five damage from the Black Rose to defeat... Oh, I can't. It's a cost. Never mind. Right. I'm too banged up. So keep Mark alive is what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I choose not to kill Mark. But if I okay. kill Mark, I might actually get some points. <laughs> I will go. Instead, I will go to the crypt. Uh, yes, I was sent here by an event, so naturally I still have all this damage. Um, I don't want to summon a lens connect. The garden doesn't help me. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm going to activate Crypt. Uh, I get a card from my memories back into my hand. And then I'm going to cast uh, Traitor Mist. Each mage within one hex of the Black Rose uh, room must either discard uh, a spell card from, uh, from your board or gain one point for each one that you don't. So burn a card from your board or I get a point for each of you. We're still going to finish this round anyway, right? Uh, or as soon as you hit 30, the game is over. No, victory only happens at the end of the round. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Do what? Dis discard, discard, discard one of these. Yes. I'm just and, and, okay. I'm, Any of them. Yes, I'm just reminding myself. Uh, uh, no, I'm so, so far are. back. I'm, I'm not going to discard Sure. Any. Keegan? Oh, can I make this quest work? And also, take your point for me. Done. Aha! Uh, that is it for me. Oh, I punch Keegan for two and activate the room. Nice. Are you? I guess if you think, play from your hand. I am flipping over this card, ah. which gets me through Ooh. three points. Very nice. I only have to discard two cards. Ooh. Instead. Nice. And I get a forgotten spell. What's mm. that? It doesn't matter. Yeah, but you... I won't be able to use it this turn, so. But it's foil. It's, it's shiny it is. foil. Well, you might want to look at the shiny foil. Oh. <laughs> I Mark. meant... I... Mark, I know I can't target him, but can I room effect? And will he take damage from that? Like, uh, I don't think he can da, da, da. take damage while in that room. Right, right. Yeah, I think He can't was. take damage. Okay. Then... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, that, oh, was one that, that was the longest pregnant pause I think I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, it was too busy admiring the foil. <laughs> yes, remove a demon and gain a point. I want to uh, Walker, I hate to point this out. My Sir Rosa Demon. No, that... Okay, yeah. first, oh, <laughs> slow your roll. All right, first of all, that's a bull. <laughs> he's a beast and he's untargetable. Right. So back off. This guy? Or, or this, this guy? Or that guy. No, th that, that guy. he's a construct. Only right. This guy. He can go then. This is the penalty I get for being so generous? Jeez. <laughs> yes. And now Keegan, you Thanks for pointing that out, Mark. Thanks. No, instead you're just going to complain about Thanks. how it... Thanks, Mark. Sorry. Uh, my punches are going to do three again, and then we're going to punch that room. Popsicles. <laughs> what? Give me this. Uh, it's back in it. And it was what? It was no, it was here. Why? You didn't what? Like wow. All of my things hmm? oh, are... Oh, damn. No, no, all, no, 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 all of my uh, next cards are, are targeting around the fact that I, I don't have a demon on the table. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Although it would be nice to uh, to do that. I, I need The a, lengths you'll go to avoid thanking me. Um, exactly. And do I want to do this as well? I'll say I love the Cerbero. Jeez. Wait, they, is they Cer cool. Cerbero back on the board? He yeah, is. Walker changed his mind and he realized he needed to sacrifice his own being. I'm going to eat Cerbero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there it goes. What does that get you? Uh, two damage to you. Two damage to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I right, won't well, hand me the cubes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was about to add my own again. That's not how it works. Well, Done. Just, I just. Uh, so long, sir, bro. My turn? 
Yes. I think so. Yep. Unless I'm this done. is one of those long pregnant pauses again. Nope, nope. Everything's good. Um, all right. Keegan, I'm targeting you. I suffer one damage from target model. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that can't, that can't this is a bad start. I, this is ominous. I, I convert four. I'll convert all the yellow ones. How <laughs> dare you? I worked hard to beat him up. Yeah, and you took the last beat map I did by one. That is true. Um, I'm wearing armor, so I will now inflict two to you. I'm dead. Holy crap. Okay, so Megan she's in... gets the most, for sure. Uh, Megan gets four. Walker and the Black Rose get one each. And Walker gets... And uh, Megan gets a face. Yes. Faces. <laughs> uh, face. Ow. And I am already back there. Okay. Um, and then I will... I'm okay with this. Uh, I also have both. Cast uh, my shiny. I may activate up to six rooms in the lodge. I gain two points. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I'll get your points. So One, um, two. I will activate the throne room first, um, and then instead of its normal effect, I can discard four cards from my hand to uh, immediately destroy the throne room, taking its activation token. Holy <laughs> crap! And that gains you three points. Did I get, and that gains me. Did I get my three points? For that? What gains you three I don't points? Think so. Uh, no, I so. that's this game. Oh, sorry. That's a, I'll get the video okay. and find out later. Um, okay, so I have five more rooms. <laughs> um, that was the main thing I wanted to do, but... Uh, um, just for shifting gigs, I'll take another one of these. So that's a questicle? Questicle. Just see if it will change anything I want to do. Whoa. Eh, probably not. Um... I could do the mirror room and take another quest. <laughs> Copy the effect of another already activated room, excluding the throne room and the black rose room. Yeah, I'll do. I'll just take another quest with the mirror room. Um, you can only have two. Oh, you can only have two. that's fine. I don't. I'm not gonna use the one I just threw. <laughs> the, 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 the You're discarding it. Black rose room gets three points. Boom, boom, boom. Well, the black rose gets three points. I mean, if it wins, that'd be hilarious. Um, uh, oh. My bad. I don't know if there's a ton of rooms that give me points left. Uh, that one's dead. Treasure room's gone, yeah. Um, I mean, how many servos do you want? Uh, or lands connect? Um, Sanctuary heals you for two. Sure, let's do that. One, two, three, four, so I get two more. Um, not helpful. Mm. I could inflict one damage to somebody, but I don't think that's going to do me a ton of good because I can't finish you off with one damage. Uh move and make a physical attack. Put an instability token in the garden, but I don't think that's going to do anything. In or adjacent to the garden. Yeah. Hmm. Abyss is not useful. Order room is not useful. Crown token is not helpful. It's worth one point at the end of the game. Uh, I suppose I could do that. Sure. Let's, um, you just no, destroyed no, sorry, the throne room, though. Room, sorry, oh, okay. I'm just reading All this. Right. Yeah. Um, I could cast a protection spell from my hand. I don't think I have any of those. Um, Does leftover damage on rooms yeah. mean anything at the end of the game? I do not believe so. Has the observatory been... Yes. yes, it's dead. I blew it up too. Oh, the top you the blew it up. Yeah. What's the Lanchnecht token in the cemetery? It gives you a zombie. Roughly equivalent to the server. Sure. Um. And it's just kind of being used? Yes. Because she's activating the rooms. You want a Cerbero too? 
Yes, sir. All right. And Cerbero is already on the board. There's her lunch necked. Bah. Something goes there. And lunch neck goes uh, summoning room here. Look, she's gonna slot through it. Are you done? Yep. All right now. Fireaga, three damage to y'all. Three to Walker. That blows no. me. No. Uh, I want to kill Walker. Uh, Walker face, please. Walker face. Four damage. Four points for red. Yep. Uh, two to, two for me. Womp. And one for black. The black rose. Do you keep taking? Oh yeah. There's a plus thirty on the other side. Oh, I see. Uh, and you take three damage from me. Here you go. That's Megan. I'm just gonna move this guy to the number one slot. Right, Megan. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in sorry. my hidey hole still. Yeah, I already. Oh, you already did it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and then I get to do two damage to the models in the adjacent room. So I'll put two damage on each of your Dargons. Okay. I mean that kind of helps you, I think, from my understanding. But uh, do I wish to do anything else? You gotta kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Wow. Harsh. Uh, no, I will be done. Uh, I will move and activate a room, which will be one, two, and then I can move one more and I punch Megan for two points. Makes sense. And I'm dead. Uh, you've given the most points to Mark. Yeah. Wait, you, oh yeah, so you activated the forge. Sorry, yes. And I'm dead. Okay, uh, I get uh, so hand him a face. Yes. Face. Four for me. One, two, three, four. And one for Keegan Walker and the Black Rose. And she goes back home. Yeah. And then I would like to... Am I obliged to do any actions? Or I guess if I pass, I'm fully done. If you pass, you're, you're out. Okay. Summon this here. No, I can't. That's going to be straight line, right? Yeah, we got range. What are you trying to cast? Summon, but it has to be a straight line. Okay. Not what I want. How about this one? Nope. Don't like that one either. Done. Go ahead. Uh, I leftover damage probably doesn't matter either. You have two health left, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go there. Sure, your range isn't that high. Hmm? No, he's going back. <laughs> uh, no, I'm activating this. I'll deal the damage to Walker. Sure. One damage. One damage to Walker. And then I will eat the yellow invocation, dealing two damage to its controller. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. It's a construct, though. Isn't not an evocation? It is, but yeah. I like it so much. Oh, I've eaten it. It was good. Points for uh, Keegan, slightly fewer points for me. Uh, yeah, four points for Keegan. Uh, two points for oh, Megan. No, this card. One point for Black Rose. One one point for Black Rose and a face to uh, Keegan. I'm done. Here's your damage back. Megan. Um. Gosh, there's no rooms to get to. <laughs> yeah, because you activated them all. I know. Uh. Well, let's go over here and I'll activate the. Whatever that does. I think it puts cards in my hand. Yep. Yeah, I think it's take a card of your choice from your deck. All right, well. Are you done? Yep. Okay. I'm obliged to move, so I do. I guess I'll activate the garden. Uh, oh, wait, no, I don't want to activate the garden. That would be silly. Uh, yeah. No, I'll, uh, I'll move to... Uh... Yeah, I'll move to the crypt and not activate it. And then I'm going to cast... Eldritch Tentacle. Move one of my evocations into the target room. He'll be up here. <laughs> uh, inflict one damage to all models in that room. One damage? 
And then he punches you for four more. So five then. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I should have cut, cut, cut to the, the chase. chase. Yes, right, exactly. Uh, the chase of Bolo and his Eldritch Tentacle. Uh, that is it. That's my turn. Screening card to move one space. Same thing. Then I cast this. Puts a demon here. It can attack. Blows that room up. Boom. Or potentially blows that room up. Well, wow, it's almost certain to happen, yeah. Kaboom. Very few uh, things. Summon and copy one of your demons in the Something. target room. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, nope, this room's already blown up. So I can't do that. I wonder if I can Well, go, if you'd gone here, you I could go there yeah. and do it instead. And done. Go ahead. Uh, I it. Yep. I will eat him. And you take two damage from me. Again with that spell. Jeez. Can rooms take more than the amount of damage? No. There's a variant whereby both rooms and people can suffer overkill. Gotcha. And, and that then counts towards, but... I punch Walker for four. You and your long range Puma. Four? Or oh, sorry, three. Three. Well, two. But it two. counts out of two, so we tie. Why are you so mean to Walker? And I, I, it like completes a quest. Like. I've dealt seven damage in a turn to one person. Uh, No, you didn't. No, he already died from the previous time that I dealt him three damage. His, his turns. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm sorry, Walker. He's being mean to you. Three each. And, and Megan's like right there. I know. Four, five. And then how many from three? Three, you say? Yeah. Yeah, but you, all my cards were eat constructs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> sure. That's it. Megan. What's the rule on discarding to move? You may discard to move? Yeah, instead of that, uh, yeah. Great, I'm doing that. I move one. One space. I... That it? Yep. Okay. You still have a, you still have a physical token left, though. I guess I will use that also. And I will move. So I, have, I guess I could have three movement total. Three movement yes. and activate. Is there anything else that is at all useful to activate? Mm, maybe the garden potentially. I maybe, can't get there. but I doubt it. Um, it's either the arena or the alchemical laboratory. Um, I will. I will go to the arena, and I. Well, I have no spells. Can I still activate the arena if I have no spells left? That's a good question. I could just go to the alchemical yes. laboratory. Okay, let's do that. Um, Who are you targeting? You, I guess. Remove a demon and gain a point. Oh, which one do you like more? Um, I have cast no more than two spells, and I've used two physical action tokens. Five points, please. All right, then. I want to get rid of all my spells in case someone yeah. forced me to play another one. Which is, which is great that you got me to discard one. They, they put like, okay. two zeros here. They put 30 yeah. and zero there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's, yeah, weird. I'm done. I'm out. Walker. Uh, I have no choice but to discard this to move. Yes. Uh, over here. I can do nothing. Game. Pass. And, yeah, I can King passes. I can do nothing. Pass. All right, we're done. So uh, this room blows up, and Walker gets it. Oh, well, we should do evocations first, but yes, evocations. Um, I am the start player. Nobody is close enough to death, and that makes me sad. Uh, well, just in case something weird happens. I we'll soften someone up, and then I can kill them. Oh, sure. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you have in mind? Um, well, Baba Yaga is squishier, uh, and your stuff is more over there. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go punch Keegan in the face for four. Oof. Well, I'm only going to do one. And all my other constructs are dead. So, yeah, I won't be doing that. Um, is damage on people worth anything at the end of his get around dead? Nope. And you, did we look up with cubes on buildings are worth anything? Nope. They're not. Well, I'll go over here you should, anyway. You should, you should soften Keegan up and then I can kill him. Mm, Actually, I wouldn't be able to do enough that's anyway. That's King Makey. So I'll go there and punch that building for another one. Okay. And then Makey, maybe uh, someone will kill this demon for me. That'd be awesome. It only has one hit point. You just wanted to. Keegan. Uh, I don't have any... I mean, I guess I could just punch Walker twice, but it's not going to do anything. Kill the demon. <laughs> uh, Walker would that's like you to kill the demon. This, 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 this person could just walk reason. over and kill the demon. I'm way back here. What am I possibly going to do? 
<laughs> Apparently he wants you to kill the demon. How does punching rooms work? Uh, wh- what? He, he, said, he said something about punching rooms. Oh, no. He, he, uh, Dagon's, instead oh, of attacking, okay. can add instability yeah. to rooms. Okay. Um, I'll just punch Walker twice. They can both reach him. Okay. Take four. It's not going to matter. Uh, right. And during cleanup, uh, what was the room that blew up? Biblioteca? Biblioteca. Well, I haven't done that. So, we proceed directly to, uh, unless someone has any other nonsense. Nope. For the end nope. game. Completed quests. I suspect that's Megan. Mm, or, uh, no, he's got four. Oh, okay. Four. I, oh, also, I also have four. Okay, uh, so both of you get five. I was stuck with one I couldn't do anything with for a while. I probably should have totally discarded it earlier. I didn't think I was in the running for that. Uh, you are in second place. You get three. Hooray. And I get one because I completed the quest. Trophies. I have five. I have two. I have three. I have one. So I get four. Uh, Keegan gets two. And uh, Megan gets one. Oh, both of you get one, actually. Megan and Walker. Rooms destroyed. Walker, how many points do you get from your destroyed? Three. Oh, no, that's not true. That is a lie. Well, it's only two, four, six. Six for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do I get uh, five points for having the most? Uh, Sadly, there's no majority for rooms destroyed. It's just the flat look. I I was hoping. Uh, How many do you get? Five. Nice. Yeah, five point room. It's a valuable room. (laughs) And uh, I get one point for holding the crown. Uh, two point lead. That's the game. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Good. That is Black Hammer Rose time. Wars. <laughs> is it? Now it's time. Did he wear a crown? No, no I just have a hammer. Time. Oh, you were talking about yeah. yourself. Time. I thought you were talking about me. Raid time. So, time yeah. Shiny. <laughs> Ooh, very shiny. Disintegration. Right, just deal time. seven damage. Yeah, it, it does, it's not fancy. It's not what you would call a fancy spell. Is there anything interesting going on at this moment? Someone is playing Flamecraft. Well, Ooh. let's pretend that that's interesting. Flamecraft's great. <laughs> Still haven't played it. Seriously? Yeah. It's been played all over the place. I just Yeah, he's been very proximate that. to many playing this. I've brought it to games night a bunch. Um, um, James has wanted to play it a lot, but it, it hasn't... Been yeah, he was in Quebec for the holidays. Yeah. Um, huh. Quebec, am I right? He bought Quebec code names. It has the word Putin. <laughs> and some other Of Quebec course words it does. Fr- because my culture is a laughing stock <laughs> to the English speaking world because they don't know anything. He bought it to play with his wife's family. Everything is a laughing stock to a current community. All right, we're all good. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Black Rose Wars. Thank you for Mark for teaching it. You're very welcome. Thank you everyone for participating. We are here every Saturday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for everyone at home for watching. Click on the links to check out our podcast. And check out our YouTube. We have lots of videos there as well. All of our live stuff goes up on YouTube. So if you miss something, you can always go back. See you next time. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Permanently white.